All right, all right. All right, we're going to get this mobcast started. It's been a while. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Coach Sheldon Harrison, there never be no comparison. Live on the show, sit back and have a listen. Ain't nobody going to be fronting like me, bumping like me. And I don't know the rest. It's just a rap. Yeah. But we in this thing, guys. They come get this word mobcast. Okay. And I'm your moderator, your host, Coach Sheldon Harrison. Okay. Some of my moderator duties. We'll get some of the moderator duties out of here, man. Okay. Dennis Espinoza said he'll be glad to moderate, man. I can't wait. Okay. And I'm going to get with Dennis Espinoza behind the scenes. Y'all know what it is. Dennis Espinoza, that's my boy. Yeah, buddy. We finna get this thing in, man. We finna get it in. Yeah. Yeah. Coach Sheldon Harrison, there never been no comparison. You're live on the show. Sit back and have a listen. Yeah. All right, I'm trying to find. I'm actually trying to find the, the stream so I can see the comments. I can't even see no comments. Okay. All right, I see. All right, one person watching right now. Marcus Bell and the got dog on building. Hold on, let's get these moderated wrenches going. All right. To come get this work mob cash, y'all. Come get this work mob cash. O-M-M-A. Man, come get this work MMA mob cast. I got to change the title of the channel, man, so people looking for MMA can find us because we really do have a lot of good MMA talk on this channel. Lots of MMA talk. Enjoy it, man. Enjoy it. Okay. This is to come get this work mob cast, y'all. Yeah. Coach Shelton Harrison in the building. And hopefully some uh, hopefully some of the other people come on. And we can go ahead and get it started. You know, we can get it started. Easy work. Easy work. So y'all know what we're gonna talk about, y'all. Hell I don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> We're going to talk about something, though. All right? We're going to talk about something. Hey, I am sitting here distracted, man, trying to, you know, find out what, what it is. But what's up with y'all, man? What's up with y'all tonight? Okay, we got three watching. Man, y'all smash that like button, okay? You smash the like button. We got a lot of haters running around, man. And, you know, they don't want to see us get it in, man. Smash that like button, family. Smash the like button. This is the Come Get This Word Mobcast, man. Okay? Ain't nobody joined me yet. Oh, man. Okay. That's okay. I might have to do this by my own self, but we're here. Okay. Yeah, man. I can't wait. Do I know why Antonina wasn't at the way in? I could ask Roger. I could ask Roger, and he could tell me, you know. I mean, if I asked him, I'm sure he would. Okay. Yeah, if I was Antonina, I wouldn't be there either for what? Your opponent ain't make weight? My main dude, they go Gordon Frazier, man. Gordon Frazier in the got dog on building, man. Gordon Frazier in the building. Straight up, in the building. My main man, Gordon Frazier, is in the got dog on building. Marcus Bell, Alejandro Chavez Murga in the building. Hey, y'all, <clears throat> waiting on the team. Waiting on the team to get here. Okay. We're going to talk about some MMA news, but, uh, man. Okay. I'll ask Roger Allen, man. I'm going to ask him what's going on, man. Okay. I'm going to ask him what's going on. Okay. And he'll tell me. It's becoming a phenomenon, man. Okay. Yeah, man. Antonina, Ji Yoon Kim didn't make weight, man. Like, what the heck going on with these people? I think Jin Yoon Kim used to be uh she used to be a straw weight, man. You 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 think you'd be able to make what band weight? I mean no fly weight? You think? Okay. All right, stamina MC in the got dog on building, man. I sent the link out to you too. I, I I know how you are, stamina, man. You come in if you think you feel like you need to come in. <laughs> and if you don't need to come in, you don't come in. So hey, that link I'll always be up I'll open that for you, man. Stamina MC in the building, okay? 
Okay, yeah, Roger confirm. Okay. What was she? Okay, all right. Yeah. So, Ji Yoon Kim missed the weight. And, and I know some of y'all probably waiting on me to make a video about it or hear my thoughts. I honestly, man, I've been entrenched in work all day. I know, man. <clears throat> if I had stamina money, you know, I, I wouldn't have to work. But, you know. Uh, yeah, so I I heard about it, man. God, dog. She missed weight by 4.5 pounds. God, dog. God, what? Woo, 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 what? Oh, man, okay. Let's go ahead and read this, man. Ji Yoon Kim, she need to be ashamed of her damn self. What the hell wrong with her? You know what? I'm going to call Ji Yoon Kim right now. Okay, I'm going to read the article. Okay. Uh-oh. So, guys, here's from what here's from, from what Roger Allen, manager of Antonina, said. The fight is not on, but it's not off. Man, I think Jin Yu Kim did this on purpose. I think she did, man. Come on, man. This girl made straw weight. Uh, I'm going to read the article, okay? Jin Yu Kim ran out of time to beat the scale on Thursday. The South Korean fighter came in at 4.5 pounds over the flyweight limit at the official weigh-ins for her bout with Antonina Shashenko at the Ultimate Fighter 28 finale on Friday uh, in Las Vegas. Kim, a former bantamweight, okay, she was a bantamweight, I'm sorry, who successfully made the flyweight mark uh, in her last two outings, was stepping in as a short notice replacement, hold on guys, on a less than one month's notice for an injured Ashley Evan Smith. Okay, uh, we got that. Um, Shevchenko, an accomplished kickboxer, she wasn't, Muay Thai, Muay Thai, you idiots, it's Muay Thai. Okay, recently signed off of Dana White's Tuesday Night Contender Series. And I weighed in at 124.5 pounds. Okay. The bout will proceed as scheduled. Okay. So they say the bout. Roger says he don't know if the bout's going to continue. He don't know. Because, you know, they, you know, man, he doing manager stuff, man. He doing manager stuff. And, you know, he trying to figure out, man, if this weight cut is going to be worth it, man. Because, you know, man, these fighters that come in overweight, man, them jokers, man, they, 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 they fuck everything up. You, you know, they, they take it and fuck it right on up what these fighters do that miss weight okay who we got up in the building genesis green god dog hey hey genesis we we talked every day what the man i, I started working god dog. Yo, yeah that's all i wanted to tell you what the fuck you been because i've been writing you and calling you god dog you know what i don't want to hear it god dog. i got to downstairs make Kalita, sleep downstairs Nah, nah, come on now. Come on. Don't have me sleep downstairs. You got to get me back in the bed now. Come on now. What's going on? Mm -mm. Where you been? I still love you. <laughs> no, you don't. You ain't got to lie, Craig. I have been working so hard. Man, I'm telling you. So, I have been training really, really hard. I got a lot of stuff coming up soon. I will never not miss a day of speaking to you again. I, I swear. I know I've been missing you. I miss you too. I, I've been I've been missing that. We have stuff. a lot to do. when we talk. It's it's very intellectual and very informative. It's not no ignorant conversations. It's very intelligent conversations we have. Yeah, we be having some intelligent conversations. I love it. I yeah. love it. It's it's not that many people you could talk to every day and y'all have intelligent conversations. You know. Yeah, I know, I know. A lot of these people dumb as fuck now. <laughs> they just dumb. Yeah, you know, you know. And, you know, we got to return our waves and our smiles to each other, you know. I know, I know. Yeah. You know the fight, um, they showing the fight, it's Saturday, right? Yeah, well. Fear, I think, right? Who? Wilder versus Fear, the boxing fight. Yeah, you know, I'm going to be all up in that. I'm gonna be I all know. up in there. What that. channel is it coming on? You got to get it on. Uh, it's on. Uh, shoot, it's on pay per view. Um, Showtime. Yeah, yeah, it's on Showtime pay per view. Oh. Hmm. I don't know. I don't. I don't pre order mine. I, and I don't, man. I'm. I'm. That's gonna, a, that's gonna be a bloody fight. 
Yeah, I don't know. I think Dante Wilder finna knock him the fuck out. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah, yeah. Well, shoot, man, we get in, we get into some of these conversations, you know. So, um, you know, old girl, the Asian girl, Jin Yoon Kim, done miss weight by four and a half damn pounds. Janice, yeah. what do you think she was doing? I mean, you think she was, uh, you know, being a little kum si kum sa? You think she was just eating too much? I mean, what? What's going yeah, on? Yeah, she was probably eating too much. And think about it. Everybody been, everybody, this past whole month, all these fights they've been having, everybody been missing weight. And they just like, oh, okay, just go ahead and take a little thousand off my pay, whatever. I don't give a damn. Just take it. You know, like, what's wrong with y'all? They're not professional. Man, God, dog. God, dog. And yeah, it wasn't just one or two pounds. It was four and a half, right? Yeah, that's like, <laughs> well, God, you know, hell. I can't she say it ain't the worst. Weight. Yeah, well, well, you know, that's where she used to fight. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's see. My man BJ Johnson is in the building. Okay. Let's see. This is the Mobcast. Everybody is on. Okay. Let me let me get you in there, man. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, you go ahead and hold it down real quick. Hey, BJ, uh, I don't have your email on this channel, man. Just like link, just link it into the uh, just link it into the comment thread, man, and then I uh, copy and paste it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. BJ Johnson of No Filter MMA is in the building. Okay, he's in the building. He's gonna spark it up. Brian Jensen may be in here soon. Genesis, you'll get what you want to go one on one with Brian Jensen. And uh <laughs> Yeah, I need to destroy the Titan. <laughs> you know Brian Jensen gonna come in here. You know he gonna try to you know he gonna try to run court. You BJ. Know, oh I okay. Be, I can't wait to meet Brian in person. <laughs> What are you going to do to Brian Jensen? Come on now. He said he boxes, you know. I don't give a damn. I'm a judo throw his red ass. <laughs> I mean, he, he said he know, he, he said he took some boxing glass. I'm, I swear he told him. Girl, bye. He ain't, go, he ain't took enough for me. Oh, yeah, you know, yeah, hey, Genesis, he might hit you with an uppercut, you know. Yeah, start well, laughing. I hope you do. I like that hard shit. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> 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 I can take a lick. <laughs> tell you, you take I a hope lick. he don't come in and act like a news reporter. I don't want to hear this fight. <laughs> come on now, please. <laughs> Dude, God damn, I think I speak for everybody <laughs> when I say we don't want to hear no news reports tonight, okay? Yeah, he gonna roll up in here, though. But four and a half pounds, man. God, See, dog. Wrong, but that's a lot. That's a lot of weight. And you know, they say to the fight on, but Roger, I just got through talking to Roger, and he said that uh, he don't really know. He said the fight's not off and the fight's not on. But I'm, I'm thinking, though, because they're going to get about 30% of the purse. And, you know, I'm sure I'm sure they're going to take that fight because, you know, Antonina used to fight. She was a bantamweight, you know, for a long time. So I, I think the fight will go down. You know, yeah, she deserved it. She deserved that fight. It really don't matter how much. Um, what's her name? I can't even pronounce her name right. Kim. I'm just gonna call her Kim. Jin Kim. How, yeah, Jin Kim. It really don't matter how much overweight she came in because she still gonna get that ass taxed. Yeah, she was still losing that fight. Okay, yeah. B Bj, I've already sent you uh, in the link to the Mobcast. Okay. What's up? What's up, girl? What's going oh on? Oh, my God. What is going on, my sister? <laughs> I'm chilling. I'm chilling. Working hard. <laughs> I know. I'll to you in a few days. Oh, Tay Tay <laughs> Brown in the building. God, <laughs> dog. What's up? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the coach loves some Tay Tay. Loves Tay Tay. I love you, too, coach. I love my sister. Oh, I'm what's in there. Up? Oh, what's up? Uh-oh. Who is that? <laughs> <laughs> DJ Johnson, oh, we're going to set it off in here tonight. Oh, Lord Jesus. <laughs> uh, you know how I go. Yeah, man. BJ you Johnson. Know, Saturday, the man. It's going to be Clash of the Titans Saturday. It sure is. It's going to be so ugly Saturday. But Coach, you know, there's a lot of people on that fight, um, on that fight court, too. Mm -mm -mm. Even on the boxing fight court. 
Yeah, I'm probably more in tune. Devin heard them fight too. Yeah, I'm gonna watch Ortiz hurt. Yeah, Uh-oh. Ortiz. Uh oh. I know. I might. I might. My, my MMA fans going going going. Boy, they are gonna be a little pissed off because they better deal with this shit. <laughs> it's, listen, it's all combat sports. BJ Johnson in the building. What's up, man? What's up, BJ? Johnson? What about what about Macy Chiesa beating Leah Lipson, though, man? Oh. Uh, oh. Hey, hey, hey! But BJ, you know I called. I called it not Leah losing, but I was like, man, I, I actually know she do need like she do need the cash, like she need it. And oh, I, yeah. I kind of know it was a financial thing. It went, if trust me, if finances wasn't a thing for her, I thought she would have stayed in Wisconsin. Because uh, I was like, man, you know, I wonder how she's going to take to this training, man. Because, see, you know, Leah, not that most athletic, but she got to work at it. And yeah. see, she was getting all that training, the good training in Wisconsin. I said, man, I don't know. I was making videos like, no, I, I don't know, man, because she might get around some trainers. And boy, boy, boy. And then she started saying it on the show, like, I don't think Robert Whitaker, the training is, is difficult enough. I'm like, yeah, man. I You're right, like, Coach. You brought that up in that video you made, man. And, man. and it, it kind of rung a bell. I said, yeah, man, because Leah, Leah, she used to she told me five a day. You know what I'm saying? Like she 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 works hard, man. And I just felt like she wasn't herself. Even in the fight with Maleki, she wasn't herself. No, nah, she took some damage, man. Like, like dang, base split up her forehead open. And it, it was yeah. It was still split open, man, when she fought uh, Macy. She yeah. still had the gas. I'm like, God, Macy, Macy, I mean, uh, Bay Malecki fucked her up, man. Yeah, she I'm did. Like, fucked her up bad. Yeah, she did. <laughs> oh, this is, I, I forgot, this is the Come Get This Work Mile cast. This ain't, this ain't, this ain't Coach Selton Harrison show. No, okay. this is, this PG <laughs> no, this is rated R. Yeah. I got yeah. Look, look. All right. Wait, DJ, this this that gangster shit right here. <laughs> <laughs> Look, this, uh, this that uh, this that don't be a menace uh, while driving <laughs> and drinking drunk type shit right here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm ready. Look, look, it's after I'm ten busy. o'clock. Put all your kids away. Yeah, for real. They ass need to be sleeping anyway. But BJ, <laughs> man, did, did you see them knees, man? That Macy was giving up, man. Man, I, yeah, I, yeah. I saw them knees, man, and, you know, the ref was like, fight or move, fight or move, you know, and Leah was trying to sneak a, you know, she was she was trying to sneak a hard shot in, man, but the more Macy, the, the more Macy threw them knees, man, I just seen it. I just seen the end come. I said, oh, this is, this is over. This yeah. is over. Was it, was it just me, or did it seem like every time she threw a knee, it just seemed like Leah was like, fuck it, I just give up. It, it felt like that to me when I was watching it. I was like, damn. But the pat, but the emotion that the emotion that Leah showed after the fight, you know what I'm saying? Like, and you know, and like the way Dana was looking at her, you know what I'm saying? Like, Leah, the passion that that just shows that how much passion she really has for this sport. You know, I don't think Leah really cared when you know, other than financially wise, I don't really think that Leah cared either way. To win the Ultimate Fighter, um, I just think that you know she, she was doing it, so she was putting everything into it. You know what I'm saying? And to get beat like that, you know what I'm saying? It it really it bummed her out. Mm-hmm. You know, but they see they they know who Leah is. They see who Leah is. We'll see we'll see the real Leah tomorrow night. The real uh, Pure Vita MMA Leah Letson tomorrow night. But you know what? I do agree. I do agree with her though. I don't feel like they training them hard enough. Like right. Like you know, I started thinking like, how the hell is Robert Whitaker this good? You know, he even ran like the thirteen laps, and I'm like, damn. You know, Robert Whitaker can do all this, and mm-hmm. you know, like, come on, it's something Robert Dane doing something, man. I, I'm I'm starting to think, man. Uh, Robert too, Whitaker doing too something. Too many fighters. It's too many fighters that they have to. You know, split the time up in between. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 kind of the, the vibe I get from it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, and they was trying to do their own thing. Shoot, man, uh, Co- Coach Whitaker, man, he, he shut that down. He said, "No, nah, man, you guys go on over to the side. Yeah, y'all y'all, y'all gonna get out the way." <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kelvin Gaston, Kelvin Gaston, definitely a much better coach, a much better yeah, trainer. Man, they were training hard, boy. They was in there getting it, man. But you know, Kevin Gaston team, you know, they won most of the bouts, man. Hmm. They did. They really did. Hey, man. Hey, hey, and let me ask the panel. You start with you, Tay Tay. What you think about Mo Green? You know, he went in there talking that, you know, he, he, oh. he, 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 Mo Green ended up getting his ass whooped. <laughs> Mo Green? What? 
I missed that. <laughs> Maurice Green. Mm. I, I can't tell you about that one. <laughs> Sorry. Maurice Green on the Ultimate Fighter. You know the black dude that was always drinking? The cross-eyed one. The cross-eyed one. <laughs> Oh my God! The cross oh, yeah, them, eyes, them eyes is cocked in the motherfucker. <laughs> oh, Lord. Girl, Girl, one, of, one of his eyes is looking at Los Angeles, and the other wait, one is he got one of them Biggie Smalls eyes. Yep. Girl, oh, yes. no. oh, I'm oh, sorry, no. big. Rest in peace, though. But one of them eyes. Oh Lord. Yeah, but I think yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm gonna tell y'all, and this might sound kind of crazy, man. I think old dude, I think old dude had a little thing for uh, Marcia Allen. I swear, because he was always Ooh. harassing the hell out of her, man. I'm like, man, we, I, so, I don't even, I don't even know if he know she was gay or not, man. I don't know. But that one, um, I was thinking about was with that, uh, who was it? Tito Ortiz fighting that old guy, uh, and, 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 and and Dana White. Oh my! I listened to that whole conversation. I could not stop laughing the way he was talking about Oscar De La Hoya. Oh God, that was so funny. Yeah, he said he, said he was a. <laughs> you call him a cokehead? Oscar De La Willow. Oh my God, I could not stop laughing. He said, you him. don't even know your own people. You don't even know your... The, I feel the, fight with him because Tito and, uh, and uh, not, I mean, Chuck and, um, and uh, Pantyhose were having a coke session. But, I mean, you know, why are they still fighting like that? I mean, they're too old to be um fighting like that. Girl, that, he that, is that is 50 ridiculous. Years old. That don't make no sense. And 50 everybody years wanna... old and you still fighting like that? But you know what? Everybody mm. always want to bring up the argument with George Foreman. Look, these are people that's been athletic their whole life. You cannot bring up no shit like this. When you I mean, I love them to death, but I mean safe, you know what I'm saying? For more than 10 years. Come on now. And, it's and like that do. Roy Jones disease. It's like they gotta keep going and going like that. It's okay. It's, Let him go in there. Oh, Lord, it's like man. This, it's, it's like, like, we have the B-hop. You know, he got punched out of the ring. He said, that white boy did put me out. That white boy did. Man. Boy I put don't feel out. sorry for him, though, because it's like, come on. You got to know when it's your time to stop. Yeah. We know when to say when. Mm. He don't pop the shit out of his ear. Oh, I saw that. It's like, boop. <laughs> He's a little bit younger than Chuck. I think about me about five or six years at the least. Because you know, mm -hmm. and Chuck, you know, he, and, and Chuck, he trained and Tito trained with with Cyborg. I seen the video where she pretty much picks him up when they were training. Oh, I think that's when they was back in. Um, what was it? Was she in Strike Force when that happened? When she picked him up? Mm -hmm. He, mm -hmm. I think he had uh, her in the triangle, and she just picked him up and she just slammed him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm. Yeah, that's crazy. I, I did watch the I did watch the fight with Macy because I didn't see it because I was uh, I, my family was doing something that night. I was watching something else, and then I saw it while ago they were showing because they already getting they already did weigh ins for the uh, fight tomorrow, and I just saw that fight. I feel sorry for Leah. I mean, she was put up a good fight, but when Macy started gathering that clinch and hitting those knees, I mean, <laughs> she's she's roll over, and I felt so bad. She's there, she's in the crying, look at Dana, and Dana felt bad for, but you know, she had. A, Contracts, but she was fine. Mm -hmm. she was in a good place. I know the losing part, losing is a bad part. But what it should have happened was she should have just go ahead, just set it up already, and let somebody else take that spot that needed that opportunity. But she already had a signed contract. She guaranteed, she had a guaranteed job. You know, this is just you know for for show. Now, who she's fighting next? Is this the last fight of the finale, or she got to fight one more person? When she got a fight on she's the premiums after the uh the show with the when having um tomorrow night with uh um I think uh 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 who is it she's uh, fighting so, Julia she, she's fighting Julia Solarico. Mm -hmm. I was hoping that, she actually the, I was actually hoping to see I was hoping that Leah would fight Katarina Liner though because I would have liked to really seen Leah Lesson versus Katarina Liner. But coach, I got a question for you. I got a question for everybody, actually. Um, you know, we all know the 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 fluke that happened before this season of Ultimate Fighter with all of these newcomers. Uh how many how many of these girls do you guys think will actually stay at 145 and fight? Fight people to the likes of I, I mean, 
you know, I don't know what the USC is going to do with them because it seems like they're going to be throwing a bunch of bantam weights in there instead of, you well, know, 145, the, though. Well, yeah, I don't Macy's see, I don't, I think, I think, Macy, I think, I think the only ones that would actually stay at 145 would be Leah Letson and B. Malecki because I don't see B. Malecki making 135. Like I don't know if I'm not I don't know like I said I don't know a lot about B Malecki but I don't think yeah, B, yo. hey B don't, y'all hear me yeah yeah, we, yeah, yeah we what happened that. coach man hey yes this channel man I don't know what's wrong with this thing this thing yeah. hundred or some shit what what you think coach sir what you think how many of these girls do you think will actually stay at one forty five besides probably Leah and, and B Malecki. I think probably Marcia Allen might stick around. Mm-hmm. Um, Babe Malecki might. Leah, Leah, I don't know, man. Leah, Leah, keep talking about going back down to one thirty-five, but see, I don't know if Dana White trying to hear all that. Um, and then uh, I think uh, Julia Stolarenko, she'll probably hang around at one thirty, at one forty-five. Um, you know, and it it just depends on how they do, man. But I think it's it's in Leah's best interest. I think at one forty-five, it's a new division. You know, she get a chance to to fight. You know, even Megan. I'm gonna be honest though, this version of Leah can't can't probably can't fuck with Megan. She she gonna have to get back. She got to get back to Wisconsin, and she gonna have to get some real training in, man. Once this yeah. tough show, like 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 she got to go back home and train, cause if not, man, you know, and I I, I you know I, I I definitely roll with Leah, man, and I I I, I fucks with Leah, you know, but I I just got to be honest with her, man. Like, damn, girl. You got to get back to Wisconsin. Like, there, there's no way, like, you're going to be able to sustain, you know, even Megan, because Megan hit hard. Mm-hmm. Okay, she hit hard. And, uh, you know, Leah was opting to to stand, you know, with Mason. I'm like, well, you know, I don't know if it was the best option to stand, but she was doing okay. And then, you know, she went into a clinch. And, you know, Macy is an accomplished more tie fighter, man. So that clinch, man, favored Macy. Macy just right. started going. She started going to town, man. So yeah. I'm like, so – I think when she get back to Wisconsin, I think she's gonna be fine, and I think she just. Well, she's gonna fight at one forty-five though, or one thirty-five. Because she she says she want to fight Cyborg, so she got. I mean, she's gonna have to stay at one forty-five. But I'm gonna be honest though, man. Just what I seen in the tournament, you know what? You know, I, I like all them girls. I just I I don't think can't none of them fuck with Cyborg. Like it's it's it's. <laughs> Well, well now Macy Kiazan, Macy Kiazan, with a few more fights and a little bit more rounding out, Macy Kiazan might be a threat. Not saying she's a threat to Cyborg, but she's gonna be a threat, period. Because Macy Kiazan looked good in both of her fights on the show. She yeah. gonna be she gonna be, you know, she's gonna be a tough competitor in that division. I just think like she go right up to the top. I, I don't know, man, because she's only with three fights in. Yeah, I I, I I I think Macy get up in there, man, and because from the outside, man, you know, yeah, yeah, that's Holly home, man. Because you know, from the outside, mm-hmm. you know, Holly was like, yeah, I think I can do this to Chris, man. She got up in there, man, and it's 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 night and day, it's night and day, man. It, it is yeah. night yeah, and Hiya. day. How yeah, was as bad as when when Mike Tyson got punched some Mitch Green in the eye. Mm-hmm. But this one thing is that I think. What's gonna happen is they'll probably sell her between Bay Malaki and uh, Megan because they're gonna see try to sell like they're doing with the um, Rachel and um, uh, PVZ fight being the two like prettiest girls in the uh, featherweight division. Yeah, but B Malaki looked good in the fight against Leah too. So, you know, to be somebody who don't have much experience in MMA, B Malaki looked good in that fight too. I gotta you know, give her she that. Was probably, she was probably a street fighter before that though. <laughs> And what, and what coach you think about Panny Kianza? Yeah, you know what? You know, she 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 looked good. She I I mean as a featherweight, you know, I I, I even think she's undefeated as a featherweight, man. Mm-hmm. But um I was always thinking, man, I'm like, yo, I always kept thinking she's always undersized. Like I think she's a small featherweight, but I think she's a big uh, bantamweight. Um man, and I know it's impossible, man. If Panny Kia could ever make be a flyweight, oh uh, man. She'll go up and then cause some trouble, but it's too small for her, man. Um, I think she's going to be a decent featherweight, but I think when a person is bigger than her physically, I, I think that's where she's going to roll into problems. Because, right, uh, right. I mean, y'all y'all saw what Sarah Kaufman did to her, man. Like, 
Sarah Kaufman just took her <laughs> and completely Sarah. just Sarah Kaufman took her and tossed her around that octagon, man. Like Sarah's it, a it monster. Was, it was easy work. And I'm like, and I started thinking, man, she's gonna go up, you know, and fight in this 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 featherweight tournament. And you know, she's always gonna be at a disadvantage when she can't deal with the size of somebody. Ooh, Arpit, Arpit says, seriously speaking, 145 is not for Letson. Ooh, I think you're wrong on that one, Arpit. I think mm -hmm. 145 suits Leah Letson very well. Yeah, yeah, think about it. If she's she may about be as big as most featherweights, but if she has the drive and she, you know, you know, sharpens her skills a better, she probably will be a threat. You know, I won't say much of a threat to Cyborg, but someone like me, Anderson, or maybe if Holly decided to come back up or GDR comes back in, somebody like that. Yeah, maybe. You know who gonna say a featherweight? Cat. You know. okay. Oh yeah, cat. Yeah, man, you know. Who Kat is. I, I think cat is gonna stay. Cat and Gano want that cyborg work though. Cat and Gano is just too weird for um have PST, uh, PTSD. I think cat uh, would stay at one forty five. Uh, uh uh. Cat would be a beast at one forty five. I think cat gonna. I think cat gonna beat the shit out of Megan Anderson. <laughs> mm -hmm. She better I do really something. Do. What, I, what I do know personally. Her striking is not all bad, but when she get a hold to you, you going down. Mm. You yeah, you going down. But she yeah, has she. this weird way of throwing punches. You know what it's? Yes, that? she does. Very weird. Well, though, well, most most grapplers most grapplers most grapplers do throw punches kind of weird. And those killer suits. That's, that's not their thing, you know. Like she drunk. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like she like she I don't know. I can't describe it, and she doesn't move her head either. It's just so weird the way she throw punches. Those right, kill two yeah. flicks. They really killed um Amanda Nunez. She was just doing like like old school uh, the crippler. Yeah. Well, her best weapon oh, so is let's her, do her, her, her 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 knees, though. So let's do this, y'all. Let's go. Ahead. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna moderate this thing now, man, because uh because uh you know people like stamina and rugby, they kind of. They kind of sit back, but you know they kind of want to interject. But you know, they 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 want to. So I'm gonna moderate this thing, and I'm gonna start out with them, y'all. And I I just I moderate. It. All right. So do me a favor, guys. When we let them speak, you know, because people like to lead the mics on and burp and fart and all this other shit in the background. So <laughs> you know, just go go ahead and cut the mics off, man, so I can hear what these folks saying. <laughs> okay. Come in here. Okay. All right, so I see my I see my girl Rugby Queen up in the building. Rugby Queen, what's going on? Um, I'm at work right now, so I'm trying to stay quiet because my client's sleeping. But I figured I'd jump on here for a little bit. Okay, Rugby, I know yeah, you ready. I'm I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little frustrated right now because I showed up to school for my case, my school case, and the kid that I have is absent. So they didn't have work for me, but I did have work this evening, but I don't know about tomorrow if I'm going to have work tomorrow for it. And it's just frustrating and things because, you know, it's, you know, like that's my, that's my money, you know. So it's just frustrating when things like that happen, just because when my cases don't show up, you know, I don't get paid. So I'm kind of a little agitated right now like i got rent due next week and it's all very frustrating right now okay well shoot then man hey everybody just empty your pockets throw that rent money on uh Ella right now y'all <laughs> let's get it in let's get it in you know we can oh, get some good. get some of genesis green money here she rich i'll survive okay so what's your thoughts rugby queen i i know i know you ready to cook on this 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 four point five five pound Wait, uh, this four point oh, five pound God. weight missing. You know what? I, 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 at first I gotta ask, like, when, when did she step in to take this fight? Was it a couple weeks ago, three weeks ago? Um, I, I don't, I don't even know. I, I'm gonna say two and a half, three weeks. Well, here's the thing. Yes, I get that she, um took this fight on short notice but when you signed the dotted line you agreed to the terms to make weight so i'm not giving her a pass i mean it is what it is because there's fighters that have taken short notice fights and have made weight so i can't give her a pass i don't give anybody a pass for missing weight 
So I don't care what the excuse is. When you sign the dotted line, you know, you agree to those terms. And if you're, if you can't make, if you don't feel you can make the weight, then you don't sign the dotted line. So Jean Yoon Kim, she signed the dotted line and she didn't do her job. And I don't think that's okay. Okay, man. Okay, my man, Stamina MC in the got doggone building. Stamina MC, man, what kind of thoughts do you have, sir? I, hello everyone on Come Get This Work. Hope everyone's healthy and happy. Um, my thoughts are probably the direct opposite of 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 rugby, actually. Um, well, not the direct opposite. I mean, it's 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 not okay. None of these weight misses are okay. Um, I personally will allow one. I will allow one. Everyone in in life, frankly, never mind just this professional, you know, combat sports or whatever. Everyone's gonna. Everyone can fuck up once, once. You know. After that, you know. Do you know that that old saying? You know, once is an accident. Twice is careless. Three times is deliberate. You know. So everyone gets one. Now, even in the case of someone like Mackenzie Dern, that was still one. Strictly speaking. That was crazy, though. It was one, but it was crazy. But it's still one. So with this one, I'm just like, well, I'm not, even though I don't, I know it's not okay, it's not what people agree to. The, the, the thing is, is that the human body doesn't know what combat sports are. It doesn't know what a contract is. It doesn't know what professionalism is. The human body only knows how to sustain itself. So therefore, it doesn't respect any of the things that the commander of the vessel is trying to make it do. So no matter whether you do sign a contract or not, if your body doesn't want to do it, then that's it. That's the end of it. Whether you tried or not, in the face of all the adversity to get it done or not, we can't know for these individuals. We don't know what they did and they didn't do to try and get there. But it's not a thing whereby because they didn't do it, that's a, a, a failing on their part as a professional. I think that's somewhat reductive. It's to oversimplify the situation and to say that whether it be the time of the month for a woman or, you know, a lack of hot water in a hotel or whatever the reason might be, they're not all excuses. Some of them are reasons. They're failures nonetheless, but they're not all excuses. And to call them excuses, I'm not ever going to do that because I just think that's reductive. I'm done. Well, I have to debunk you on the whole Mackenzie Dern thing because that's not the first time she's missed weight. She missed weight two, three times before. No, no, I know, I know that. Okay. I, 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 I'm, 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 I'm just, in the context of the UFC, I don't get to watch many fights in any other organizations. I only just started watching Invicta. I can't find a Bellator or a PFL fight to watch anywhere. I've only just got the one app to watch there. I've, I'm a UFC fighter, UFC fan as of now not even by choice, but just by default. So from my experience of these people, I will give them one. Anyone who knows better than I do, they can say whatever the hell they like. I will give everybody one. Like I said, I'm just different, you know. Of course. It's just, you know, it's just I can't, I can't roast somebody for missing weight and then give somebody a pass. So that's prob that's why I'm giving Jean Yu that's why I don't give her a pass because I didn't give Rocky Pennington a pass. I didn't give Sajar Eubanks a pass. It's just I'm just trying to be fair, you know. So sure, I mean, but, yeah, but it me sucks, too. but you know, I have to judge everybody the same. Me so too. I mean I mean, it is what it is. Absolutely. But Hey, so what do you guys think? And I I'll start off with you, uh, BJ. What do you guys think, man, uh, with the amount of fighters, men and women, that's just missing weight? It's been a lot in just this month alone. Like, I, I don't know, B BJ, what kind of thoughts you got about that, man? Because I'm curious now. I mean, I think, you know, I think that there's a, there's a, I think the UFC has gotten a lot bigger the past few years. And a lot of these fighters have become more of like celebrities. You know what I'm saying? So I think that they get some people get uh, so caught up in 
you know, with the new generation MMA, with the Conor McGregor's and 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 the uh, what's the dude? What's the interim uh, welterweight? Kobe Covington, with the trash. You know, all of that that this new wave of MMA. I think a lot of the fighters get caught up in the glitz and glam of everything, and they let some some of them. You know, and as much as I like Mackenzie Dern, you know, she's one of them that that distra- the worldly distractions get to her before the, you know instead of focusing on the fight and focusing on what she needs to be focused on and being disciplined i think there's a lack of discipline in a lot of these uh new generation fighters versus back in the day you didn't see this that you didn't see this as much because there was more discipline it was more of the sport um it was more of mma and you know not mma with a hint of wwe you know what i'm saying so i think that's got a lot to do with it just the distractions and the discipline of a lot of the fighters nowadays. Now, now the only person I would give a pass to would be uh, Cynthia Calvillo. I mean, because at least she did come out and say, hey, you know, it's that time of the month. That's something that women have to deal with, you know? So I do now, like Rocky Pennington getting on the scale looking like death, you know what I'm saying? Like, no. Well, I mean, you know, I, 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 don't, think, I don't think so. Here you go. Well, I'm sorry, but as a woman, if you're truly dieting and keeping your weight down, getting your period should not affect the weight cut. Sorry. Okay. That's sorry. Agreeable. Understandable. That's I, feel. <laughs> oh, I thought she should. I think a couple of these. I'm a woman. I know, I'm, I'm a woman. I know what it's like. I mean, okay. I know what it's I like. Good women should move up weight, too. A couple of them need to move. A couple of people, men and women, need to move up in weight as well, because as you get older, it, apparently it gets um, harder to cut weight. So, I mean, I think you know when you get to that stage where you start killing your either killing yourself to get to the weight or missing weight, I think that's you know that's telltale signs that maybe you should move up. Or it's also called you know staying disciplined in between fights. I agree. So I mean, yes. There's, there's some things, you know, but if you're staying disciplined in between fights, these wet cuts shouldn't be an issue. So, I mean, that's what the Shevchenkos do. They discipline themselves in between fights. That's why they never miss weight. God, dog. Man, that was a good discussion between y'all two, man. Excellent discussion. Okay, um, let me ask you a couple subjects. Yes, sir. Before you change the subject, I just want to, just because we're on the weight thing, one piece of news that I thought was interesting that I heard earlier, and I don't know if anybody else heard it today as well, is that going forward, um, Pollyanna Botelio would now be fighting a flyweight. She's not doing straw anymore. He's moving up. Anybody Pollyanna. hear that? No, wait a minute. Pollyanna Botelio moving up to flyweight? Yeah. She said, yeah, she's not doing the straw weight anymore. She, she's, you know, she's decided that she wants to fight more times a year and not having to worry so much about the cut will allow her to fight, be more competitive without worrying about her health so much. So yeah, from the going I forward, wish, she's, I, she's wish, I wish a lot more people would do that. I wish a lot more people would do that. Cause that, I can respect that. Even though I want to see her fight at straw weight, I can respect the fact that she don't want to keep killing herself to get to 115. I, I think a lot more people should do that. I agree. And I feel like that would, you know reduce the amount of people amount of fighters missing weight i think the other problem is is just some of these fighters just are not fighting in their proper weight class like darren till is actually a career flyweight but yeah like darren till he should be a middleweight (laughs) at least (laughs) <laughs> yeah, all these, darn, I mean, all these darn weight bullies, y'all. It, it's crazy. All these darn weight bullies that like they try Jessica to... Andrade. Even though she makes weight at straw weight, she should be a flyweight. One hundred. I mean, yes, she can make she can make straw weight, but she really should be a flyweight. Because I want to see Poor how Carolina. I want to see how good she is. I want to see how strong she is. Like I don't want to okay. see the weight, like I don't want to see the weight bully. I want to see somebody who's actually tested. I want to see her against like a Tatiana Suarez. I want to see her against um, a Caitlin Jakagan. I want to see her against a Sajar Eubanks or something. I want to see some. I want to see Andrade like really. T- I want to see her strength tested. 
Yeah, and start picking on these. Like I, I feel like Carolina Kovacavich is a natural uh, straw weight. <laughs> but man, she went in there, and I don't know, man. Carolina, I, I, I think she took like nine years off Carolina life with that damn knockout. I'm I'm not, she... I'm, and I'm not trying to pick on Andrade. It's just I'm not a fan of of weight bullying. Yeah, yeah, I'm definitely. Uh, yeah, I ain't a fan of it. You just fight at your weight class, and just go ahead yeah. and go with that. Okay, that's that's okay. We, we we change the topic here real quick. Okay, so the one championship, they are starting to become a UFC former fighter refugee camp. Okay, I'm gonna start with George Page, man. What what do you think, man? About them, uh, these UFC fighters going over to one championship. Well, I think it's mostly about the money. They know that the UFC is not paying them enough. If one has the money to back up uh, them, you know, put some in their pocket, why not? I mean, even though UFC is the biggest show around, they're not paying these fighters. And then you got to think about their future. They want to keep fighting the UFC and give themselves a weight cuts and and take a short last uh, short last minute fights and barely make a uh, a dime after they pay their trainers, their um, other fees and stuff like that. And this company here is, hey, they're gonna be gonna, you know, put some money in my pocket. Why not? So, like I said, you know, UFC and hit hit over at one. God, dog, George Payne said after UFC. Yeah. Hey. Okay, so George, now you know I gotta expand with you a little bit, man, because I, I I really I want you to I, I'm I'm gonna see I'm gonna see where you go with this, man. Okay. Oscar, De La Oscar De La Hoya, man. Oh, no. Dana White cooked. I mean, Dana White went in on Oscar De La Hoya. George, you, you got to give me your initial thoughts, man. And then, what? you, George, you got to tell me what's going on with that, man. What the hell? This man, he probably got more, do more shit than, than De La Hoya. And he, and just because you don't put it out in public, he keeps a secret, he probably just um, takes utensils in his ass and uh, he's on the jet. You don't know that. <laughs> I mean, he just, I mean, he wouldn't say that shit to Vince McMahon. Because you know Vince McMahon's a bitch slap him. But he, he's going to pick on Oscar De La Hoya. And like I said, I know I used to have, I used to be a big De La Hoya fan back in the day until, you know, I start seeing some stuff that has really kind of surprised me and disappointed about Oscar. But the fact is, why are you running to this, this man? He, what is, I think he's afraid that he's going to be competition for him. Now, with the Chuck Waddell and, um, and in T.O.T.'s fight, that's like a, you know, like, remember, I remember a few years ago when um, um, Roberto Duran and um, Sugar Ray Miller were going to fight, and, and and the sports announcers are where they're getting them out of the home, put in the wheelchairs, and that's where that fight was. But then he, he's just afraid that he, if he can get younger, more experienced fighters, you know, and especially, especially build up his um his company, the Golden Boy Company, and, you know, and, and hook up with companies like, you think about it, he ain't going to work with UFC. It would probably try to with Bellator, maybe PFL, and even Championship One. And I think that's what Dana's afraid of. You know, if he can get newer, fresher fighters in his company, then you know Dana's going to lose out. But the fact is, you, you're a businessman. You understand? It's nature of business. And UFC and uh, MMA is gotten really popular. Like I said, this comes from a guy who's a boxing fan. I grew up as a boxing fan. And I didn't like UFC. I used to joke about it. I, I remember when when B Hop said that he called it gay sex, and I, 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 I and I said, yeah, you know, you roll around with guys like that, yeah. But then now it's more dramatic. You see a lot of more, you know, we see finishes. You see, you know, people go at it. It's a blood sport. It goes back to the days of um, Rome when you fought when the gladiators fought in the Colosseum, and you know, the, the the emperor put his thumb up, thumb down, and see who gonna live or die. And that's the level what what UFC is. And boxing, you know. From my point of view, you know, the heavyweight division is kind of dead. You only got Dante Wilder. He's fighting this chump, um, Tyson Fury. He's like a, a video game character. And then, you know, Floyd, he's gone now. He's retired. Pacquiao's, you know, just fighting just to, I don't know, he might as go ahead and become the president of the Philippines. And just the rest of the, and the rest of the people in there, I don't really know. Because I've really, the last few years, I have not really paid attention much attention to boxing. But no. you know, Dana White just should just shut your mouth. You know, just you know, set up good competition and step up your game. Do better. You know. God dog, George Page kind of went in. Tay Tay Brown, girl. That's hey. right. Go on and cook, Tay Tay Brown, because man. What? 
They're going to serve Oscar De La Hoya right, man. I'm not a fan. I used to be a fan of Oscar De La Hoya, but ever since he did those emails and hasn't been addressing it about Al Heyman and, you know, him wearing the fishnets and sticking utensils up his ass and everything like that, this man is just a hater. I'm sorry. He is such a freaking hater. And, you know, I'm glad Dana Wright, you know, put like a new asshole on him. I mean, because he's just crazy. I mean, stop hating. I mean, nobody is not at your company except for Canelo. And, you know, he's just, he's just hating. He's the, like the biggest hater. He needs to shut his mouth. Uh, That's no. how I feel about Oscar. Okay. Man. Genesis Green. Genesis Green still in the building. God, dog. Genesis Green done took a smoke break. Uh, Genesis, now you training. Now you can't be smoking, okay? Let me smoking them cigarettes. Things bad for you, girl. Okay, all right. All right. Um, we still got on the panel. Okay. All right, BJ Johnson, man. Your thoughts on Dana White really going in? I mean, he, he went in, man. Like, I, I, man, I ain't think Dana White had that in him. But, man, he did something, man. You know, Coach, I actually did not catch that. Okay, man, he called he called Oscar De La Hoya, man. He called him a he, he called him a crackhead, man, and said that you know he delusional, like that's the crack talking to him. And then he well, called you know, him Oscar. anybody that anybody that does or says anything to Dana White, Dana White's gonna respond like that. I'm surprised Dana White ain't winning. I'm I'm waiting on him to go in on Misha Tate. <laughs> Misha, Tate Misha Tate said that the UFC is a shit show. That's why she hopped off for hopped off for that train and went. And it, it took the job of one fighting championship and called the UFC a shit show. Well, I'm just waiting on him to go in on Misha Tate. Yeah, you think he'll do that, man? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely, 100%. He is going to fire back at Misha Tate. You, I guarantee. He, he, you know, he know, I'm sure he knows about what she said, but right now he's just like, oh, yeah, whatever. It's going to fester. It's going to fester, and it's going to rise to the top of that bald head and come out of the part that shines. And when, as soon as it come out, you'll hear about it. God dang. I don't know if he will, though, because, like, I don't know. Like, he was, she was, I don't, she was kind of one of those fighters that he, I think Dana just really liked, you know, like, kind of not like gave special treatment to but she was definitely like she was definitely a rival of ronda rousey so because like she has so much history with her like i don't think he's gonna i don't know i don't think he's gonna do anything i mean dana white is like because she you know she took the belt from holly which he was definitely happy about so i mean (laughs) he's he likes her for that. So, I mean, I don't think, I don't know. I just think she's one of those fighters that I think Dana doesn't really have a grudge against. So I don't think he's going to mistreat her or say anything to her. Yeah, I mean, but you know. Oh, good. Good. Yes, sir. I think okay, Dana White's kind of like Donald Trump. Whenever somebody white go against him, he don't want to say nothing else. But when some minority goes against him, then he's going to put them on blast. That's the problem. He didn't want to put, you know, be out, you know, Nisha, Nisha Tate's, um, you know, uh, bad list because he still has love for Nisha. And even though she says that um, UFC is a shit show, he didn't want to say good because his mindset, he feel like, oh, like an ex-girlfriend, she's going to come back. She'll come back. She'll come back. No, she's not coming back. She got a real job. She's making real money and she's done with you. So move on. Stop standing out there in the cold. Like, be like Orange Juice Jones waiting. I say, I saw you standing in the rain, you know. <laughs> Hey man, Oscar De La Hoya been kind of he been kind of poking the bear a little bit, man. And see, you know, I'm with Tay Tay Brown. He ain't addressed them damn racist emails. Now, you know, he's sitting here talking about uh he he gonna pay his guys better in MMA. Dana exposed and Dana said two a couple of his guys only made a thousand dollars, you know, to go in there and get beat up. And you know, this darn dude, he he over there sniffing lines. He don't even know everybody's name. Now, okay, I get you ain't finna pay these people, man. But damn. At least Dana White by default know people name, you know. At least he know their name, you know. And at least he pay him more than a thousand dollars, man. 
Like, I could come in and them. Go ahead. Oh, does anybody know how many pay per views were sold for Liddell versus Ortiz 3? Because I don't think it was ever announced. They might not announce it. <laughs> it must have been that bad. That's what I, I really would like to know that. Like, yes. how are you going to pay your fighters more money when you can't even sell a pay-per-view? Apparently, the gate on that event was more than the last two Bellator events, according to them. So you can take that with a well, massive pinch of salt. But, um, yeah, that's what, they, that's what they're saying. I have no idea. I don't think it did that well because I'm beyond. I don't man. think it did either. Yeah, who wants to go see two guys who pretty much uh, like, especially Chuck with Dale? Like, I'm the only time I saw him he was in a he was in a stand doing a uh, fight, uh, do a fight, and he looked like he was coked out. But who wants to see a guy who's like halfway coked out fighting some guy who's probably maybe a little bit better shape than him? I wouldn't want to see it. He thinks he can still fight, though. Like, Chuck Liddell, he thinks he can still fight. Uh, he's one and done, and he should realize that. It's time's done. past. Yeah, it's time's like, past. I mean, I hate to say it, but I, I even I think I could have dodged some of those punches he was throwing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think anybody could dodge him if they saw him. Be like, I feel like Neo in the in the Matrix. Yeah, I thought Chuck Liddell was moving in slow motion, man. Like this dude got dropped and he fell in slow motion. I was like, damn, <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? how you fall in slow motion, man? And then he just started covering up, man. I'm like, man, did, come on, man. Every time I Chuck said he well off, come on, you know. And Dana, now I'm gonna tell you, Dana hypocrite, and I'm gonna tell you why, because. Chuck Liddell had a job with the UFC, and they fired him. Y'all remember that? Yeah, yeah, I remember that. He was some kind was of it a commentator. No, no, he was some kind of a behind the scenes guy. I think he was like a athletes administrator or something like that. Uh, some kind of you know little you know like one of those jobs you give somebody just to you know, you owe him something. Then he talking about with Chuck, his friend. I'm like, well, damn, you fired your friend, man. I think he said because it had something to do with his age that. He said it's time for you to hang it up. That's why he let him go. No, he let him mm -hmm. go because he had one too many shots to the head. Mm -hmm. He let him go because he's too coked out. That's what he says. Um, that keeps him from, from feeling the pain. Oh my god! Now, in defense, now in defense of Golden Boy MMA, some of the fights on that card was pretty good though. The guy that trains with Daniel Cormier, he put on a hell of a fight. The black guy that fought in the co main. That was a pretty good fight. Is that good? Why is he with UFC? I'm surprised um, DC tried didn't try to put him on. Uh, I, I, I have to say this, man. Any fighter, any fighter who got Oscar De La Hoya, man, promoting you, it's something wrong with you, man, because this dude, you can't trust him, man. He was gone mm -hmm. for, for Canelo Alvarez, the biggest fight of his career, man. You know, he was in rehab, you know, when he fought Floyd Mayweather. And then after he left rehab, he was still, you know, stiffing the lines of cocaine. And then he started dressing up, man, and wearing all this stuff. I mean, could, could you think about it, man? Like, because you take this guy seriously if you're a fighter. And then you start talking to him about your future. And then all of a sudden, man, you just you type his name into Google. And, you know, him with them boxing gloves and them fish nests just pop up. You know, I, I just I, – I, I can't see that, man. This guy – this guy's irresponsible, man. That's why – you know, he lost his company. He, he sniffed his company all through his nose, okay? I mean, damn, he's so stupid because he didn't even know that uh, those fighters from Al Heyman wasn't even signed for, uh, from him. You know, he was paying those guys, and those guys weren't even signed to his promotional company. That's because he was out partying, drinking, and he was snorting. And he was putting his life through his nose. So this guy had no idea, you know? And then on top of that, man, you got a guy, a journalist that you employ who, you know, sent out a, a racist email you know, and then instead of addressing him and saying, you know, the typical, hey, you know, we're a golden boy, you know, we're equal opportunity. You know, he could have said something like that, got everybody off his back. Nah, man, he blew a kiss at a barbershop conversation. You know, Fred went over to interview him. He said, man, what about the emails that y'all been ignoring for about two years? 
Oscar De La Hoya blew a kiss at him and walked off, man. So that that, that ought to tell you, man. I you know I I can't fuck with Oscar De La Hoya. I can't fuck with. I ain't even watched the fights. Any fight that this guy have, hell no. I ain't watching it. I ain't watching nothing this guy put on. Even you know Canelo. I was a diehard Canelo Alvarez fan. Really diehard. You know, enjoy watching. I just I stopped putting money in their pocket, man. You know, if you can't even address some emails, man. You know, I don't even care about the fishnets. Hell, that's you know, do 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 like to get a little coonsy coonsa. You know, that's fine. You know, you want to put on some nets and some stockings and panties and heels. That, look, look, that's his thing. Okay, but but the emails, I think it, it that just went too far. You know, it just went too far. Fishnet, black panty hoes. <laughs> no, George Page, don't start your shit. I mean, it's not even funny. That's really sad. You know, yeah, days for real. like that. That's so sad. Uh, it's that's pathetic. Some guys are into that. Uh. Mm, mm, mm. Can we talk a little? Can we talk a little? Shevchenko versus Bojangle Jack. Oh God! Oh, that's oh Lord! Oh, yeah. that's oh, that, that, that was like, oh God! That's coming, baby. One week. I'm ready. Yeah, one week and two days. December is about to be lit. Is Bojangle Jack going to even show up? Oh, uh, Bojangle <laughs> Chicken Chico, I'll show up. Oh, she will show up. Oh, uh, <laughs> show up. <laughs> Do not jinx this. But the, good news is, is, but the good news is, if something were to happen to Bojangle Check, we still got Jessica I and Ch- or Caitlin Jacagan to step in. Is some band going to show up? God, dog. Mm. Okay. Wait, is who going to show up? Is Nunez going to show up? Ooh. Well, in, the same, in, the same, in the same breath, if we lose Nunez, so we got Kazinga. If we lose Nunez, we got Kazingano. Oh, so yeah, hey, you know, you know Megan don't want that work. Always show up. <laughs> when, when lose the draw, she's gonna be there. You know what would be funny uh-huh. though? Because you know it'd be hilarious if some yeah. if for any reason if Amanda Nunez decides to pull out. And they choose Megan Anderson. Do you think she'll want to get in there? <laughs> <laughs> here's, here's the worst case scenario. Oh, God. Some have the she cyborg. Have to step in the same day. Is some having what, a cyborg? What, what you mean? Yeah, if some, I mean, you, know, some, you got to remember, you can get hurt doing the training. Some, Nothing some, is going to happen to cyborg. I know, I know, but I'm just going to say, expect the unexpected. That would teach me in, in um, Gotham City. Batman. Oh, it, it, Come it. on, be realistic. Stop it. Not, Ain't nothing gonna happen to Cyborg. I know you want it, but this is this is just this is just. Uh, say, of... Lord, forgive him, Lord. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come on, it, get him up, Lord. <laughs> preach, Coach. Preach. Man, Expect it unexpected. I don't want to hear it. No, it does nonsense. happen. Come on, you come on. think I you think want it? I think at this point, I think Valentina is, you know, like training in a way where she's not going to get injured. Same with Bojangle Check. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the fight's a week away. I don't think they're gonna try to do anything to to get injured. Mm-hmm. You, know you notice Joanna, you haven't heard about anything from Joanna. Say so what? You notice that you haven't heard a peep out of um Joanna. She has about to say nothing. Joanna She's about training. to get in here and starch Valentina. <laughs> uh, what? Who's about what to get in starch Valentina. Cut him off. Cut him she off. She's about to get in here and starch oh, Valentina. Okay. Wait, who is that talking? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I completely hey, hey, BJ. Who is <laughs> I'm not a troll. Hey, hey, bro. Hey, bro. I'm not a. I'm not a troll. I'm far from a troll, bro. Oh, I'm a Joanna no. Young. I'm a Joanna Young J Check fan, homie. <laughs> so let, let's get that. Let's get that straight. Where's TJ at? So I can yell at him. <laughs> you know where? Tay-tay. Me and him been going hey, back look. and forth. <laughs> Tay Tay, just don't even acknowledge it. We know it don't matter what 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 these guys say. Come okay. Saturday, we know who's gonna win. So let's not. That's even, right. It doesn't I even agree matter with what say. they say. JJ about to get in. Valentina about to get this word. Oh, what is that? Oh, uh, dang, dang, Genesis. 
Somebody farted or something? Wait, you talking shit? Yeah, oh. that, that dog just. Wait, what? What that motherfucker said? <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, <laughs> you know what? I'm about that life. Oh, hey, y'all listen. Listen, listen, y'all listen, listen. <laughs> oh God, no, no. Oh my God. <laughs> Am I dreaming? <laughs> dreaming <laughs> Yo, I forgot Genesis was about that life. I forgot oh, I all am. about it. I'm from the hood, baby. I'm, I'm <laughs> about that shit. Mm-mm-mm. You from where? I'm from the hood. I'm about that mm-hmm. shit. I hear you. I hear and, I, you. and I'm from New York. We crazy. Okay. Yeah, dog. Mm-hmm. Damn. AJ Brown in the building. Oh, okay. Wait a minute now. Wait a minute. Now, he just said he thinks that Joanna's gonna win this fight. Now, BJ, oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 he didn't BJ? say that. He said that oh, someone's gonna get starched. That's <laughs> so crazy. Starched. That's BJ, crazy. BJ, Starch. sir, you got to tell us, man. How? Okay, so how this fight gonna end, then, man? Like, just get, give us a round by round breakdown, dude. I just think, I just think Joanna, man. I just think Joanna got the better striking, man. I, I mean, oh my god. Now let me get let me get this out. Let me get this out. Now I think if the fight if the fight goes to the ground, Valentina definitely has the uh the advantage. And I believe she has an advantage. What what made me learn that you know, uh, that Valentina got that ground advantage is when she fought Juliana Pena. So but if the fight goes to the ground, I'm gonna have to give it to Valentina. But I, I don't think it's gonna go to the ground. Like I, Joanna has really good takedown defense. And I don't think that Valentina is gonna be able to get her down for one. It's a whole different ball game at 125, y'all. This isn't strawweight Joanna fighting. This is this is 125 Joanna fighting, which we've never really seen that. Uh, so we don't you know do what, realize that they have fought before. You do realize. Oh, that. I understand that they fought before, but they fought before in more time. That's yeah, but bit. they still fought at the same weight, though, 125. Hello? Valentina knows how she is at 125. Yes, it was yeah, Muay Thai, but the weight class, it's still, she knows what how she is. She knows what her strength is at 125. So I don't think the weight's going to be an issue. Okay. I, don't think, I don't think Joanna's a different fighter back then. I think Joanna's a different fighter than she was back then. Yeah, well, I no, and I agree. I, I believe she is a different fighter than she was 10 years ago. But you saying that her moving up to 125 is a whole different ball game? Yes, it is. But Valentina has fought her at that weight before, so I don't think fighting at that weight class is going to surprise Valentina. Her okay, so let me ask you this question. So let me so let me ask you this question. You said that Valentina's already fought her at 125. Do you think that that Valentina is stepping in to the octagon with the same girl she fought ten years ago? With the same fighter she fought in? I'm not saying that. I said that she, I already agreed. I already told you I agree she's a different fighter now. I'm just saying I don't think the weight is going to be a difference. That's all I'm okay. saying. I'm not talking about her skills. I am I'm, I believe she's improved. I'm just saying at 125, I'm just saying Valentina has fought Joanna at 125. Valentina yeah, knows yeah. how she is at 125, her weight. I'm not talking about skill. I'm just saying she knows how she is at 125. I just, I just think, I just think Joanna's just a more dominant. She's a more dominant fighter than Valentina. I mean, I mean, we, and you can't really say that because it's they fought, they fought majority at two, two weight classes apart. So you can't really, you can't really say that because they didn't fight the same people. But I just feel like you know. I don't know. I just feel like Joanna is just a better fight. I just feel like Joanna. I think they're very close. This is this is probably the most the most even match they can make for the title at one twenty five. The most the closest match that they can make at one twenty five for this belt is these two right here. If it would have been Caitlin Chukagian versus Valentina Shevchenko, that would have been a huge gap in skill set. Even with Nico Montano. Now I was rooting for Nico because I like Nico. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, but there was a huge gap in skill set there. I'm not afraid to admit that. I, I definitely admit that. But this is the most closely contested fight and close, closely contested match that they could have made for this belt. And I just believe that Joanna Young know, Jacek is is going to edge Valentina out because Valentina does have a tendency to get stagnant in a fight. So you know, I mean. I don't know. I just I'm, I'm curious to see how it's gonna go, but I'm definitely rooting for Joanna. Has the tendency AJ. to what? 
she has the tendency to get predictable in a fight. BJ, oh, humor um, me for one second. And how is Joanna second. not predictable? She does the same thing. I mean, Joanna is predictable. I mean, she can be, they're both predictable, but, you know, I just I just feel like Joanna's going to edge Valentina out. I mean, that's just, like, the same way you feel that Valentina's going to win this fight, I feel Joanna's going to win this fight. No, and I'm just perfect. That's perfectly fine. I'm just curious mm -hmm. how you think that, I'm just curious why. I'm just curious, that's all. Because, I, I mean, one thing I've noticed when watching Valentina fight, and I know Coach probably going to rip rip my asshole through my mouth. Oh, no. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> I just, like, sometimes in a fight, like, you see Valentina has a tendency of, like, of waiting on her opponent to strike. And you can't do but that BJ, with Joanna. That was at 135. She's a lot yeah, smaller. That's a, she has exactly. to be more cautious. But now down a weight class, she can be more aggressive. Because she's fighting girls more her size. At 135, she has to be cautious. She can't just go yeah. in on these girls that are that outweigh her. Well, now, we have and like, well, we that's why really... that's why that's why she was patient. But at 135, <laughs> well, you... I think she's gonna be a different animal. Sorry, y'all. I'm I'm getting over a cold, but you can't we haven't really seen Valentina fight a credible opponent at 125. She fought Priscilla Cachueta. I mean Priscilla Cachueta isn't really like you can't really go off of that fight. You know what I'm saying? Like you can you can, but you can't. I mean, anyone would have beat Priscilla. Anyone could have beat Priscilla Catchaway if you ask me. You could have put Priscilla Catchaway in there with Montana De La Rosa. You know what I'm saying? And I'm pretty sure Montana De La Rosa would have won that fight. So I mean, it's 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 if if she would have fought someone like if, if Valentina would have done that to let's say like Jessica I or uh, 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 Alexis Davis, or you know, what I'm saying some someone a little more credible than Priscilla Catchaweta, then you can, then I can agree, you know, a hundred percent agree with that. But a lot of people are taking what Sarah she done Kaufman, to Priscilla, Juliana Pena, Holly Holm. You're saying those aren't credible people. That's not what I'm saying. I'm talking 125, darling. Well, Alexis Davis used to be a bantamweight. I, mean, I understand that, but Valentina didn't fight her at 125. But, I'm talking but about. That, but then JJ has fought okay, nobody at 125 either. About credible people, they're. You you missing you're missing yeah. what I'm saying. You you miss not you're missing my point now. My point is, at 125, people are taking what she done to Priscilla Catchaweta and saying that that's what she's gonna do to everyone at 125. That's not the case. But that's that's you nobody know, in here. Like, nobody in here is saying no, that. No, 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 no one in here. I'm not saying no one in here is saying that. I'm just saying, like, that's what the mass of people are saying. Like, they're taking, they're basing the percent, they're basing what they think Valentina's going to do to Joanna, basing that off of what she did to Priscilla Cachueta. And I'm like, no, that's, 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 you can't base that off of that because Priscilla and Joanna are two different people, two different fighters. Like, you can't. Like people are saying, oh, Valentina's a monster at 125. Look what she did to Priscilla Cachueta. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I mean, well, Priscilla Cachueta wasn't really that good of an opponent. You know, I, I commend her for getting in there with Valentina, but she really is not that credible of an opponent. So you can't base that off of the fight with Cachueta. That's what I'm trying to say. Cool. And nobody in the, in this chat has done that. But yet, despite JJ having not fought at 125 in the UFC, Right. You still feel that JJ is going to starch Valentina, even I though do. she's never fought in that division in the UFC. She hasn't. No, she hasn't. So you, what your opinion is based on is based on even less. Those people, that none of whom are in this chat, are making comments based on what they've seen. You, however, are basing it on something that you haven't seen. However, however tenuous the evidence is, it's still evidence. You don't even have any. What's I, just, no, what, I just think it's a different ball game at 125. I think it's going to be a different ball game at 125 in in terms of the Joanna Young J check. That's that's what I think. Okay, <laughs> humor me, humor me then. Tell, tell me this then. If you look at their respective records in the UFC, okay. which of Valentina's opponents would JJ beat, and which, and vice versa. Who, well, you can't really say, you can't really say that because all of Joanna's op opponents have been at one fifteen. I'm just, just talking about skill set. We're just talking about as fighters, weight notwithstanding, because ultimately they are as humans. They weigh the same. So so like they, in theory, they can fight all of those those different people because they weigh the same. 
Okay. JJ could be a bantamweight if she really wanted to be, and so could Valentina be a strawweight if she really wanted to be. As humans, they are the same way. So they could do either. So they could fight okay. all of those people. So of their <laughs> respective opponents, who can do what? Tell me, in your opinion. Skill for skill. Your PJ. Skill for skill. Go ahead. Yo, PJ, if you believe this, and, and you know, brother, I know you do, I'm going to have some advice. I'm going to have this question for you. Um, I got a bridge in Brooklyn i like to sell you. Oh, for so God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> and um, like I said, it, it, I, I understand what you're feeling. You're, you know, you're really hoping for your oh, um, <laughs> champion, quote, unquote, to be, a, 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 I guess, a killer, an assassin. She is you know, a killer. She, there the is female. no if she's a killer. She is a killer. No, no, the female. No, I'm talking about Valentina. She's the female version of, of Ivan Drakov. If she dies, she dies. They, I hope they don't have Mario <laughs> you know, Saki as the as the uh, as the uh, as the uh, referee. But you know, <clears throat> let's just point this out. Now, you know, uh, Joanna has done good as a strawweight. She's done she, great as a strawweight. She has done good. I'll change you up against um, Thug Rose, who beat her twice. Then you know we have Valentina, who also did pretty good as a bantam, but she was more you know accustomed to being a fly. Now both of them fought as, as flies back in Muay Thai, and okay. we all know that Valentina has the most wins over JJ, second to Rose. Now I understand that you're in your feelings, you want your girl to win, but here's the truth: she's not going to win. She's gonna be okay. put to sleep. You can go visit the ICU unit and hand a flower. Oh, God. <laughs> stamina. To answer, to, to answer your question, stamina. Um, uh -huh. uh, to if, if JJ was to go to one thirty-five and mm -hmm. fight all the girls that Valentina fought, mm -hmm. I believe that JJ could beat Juliana Pena if no. she wanted to. No. Okay. Oh no! Not, I believe not. JJ. Nice. I mean, I, I believe JJ could beat Juliana Pena. No, I don't mm, think so. No, just 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 her or any of the others. And, I mean, mm. striking wise, I probably think she would probably beat Holly Holm as well. <laughs> no, then I got knocked out. No, I'm, no, I'm, I'm no, struggling no, with that. Are y'all kidding me? We've said so far. I'm struggling oh, with that one. Nope. Yeah. No, as a compass of a fighter as Joanna is, are you just writing her? Y'all just writing her off like that? Yes. It's, not, it's not that. It, it, it's more so the size, like man. Ali mm -hmm. Holm. Is, That's what I was trying to point out. The size, like you can't really right? say that because Joanna is small, and you know, no, nah, she, she can't, can't be really, Holly. No, nah, she, she can't, can't be Holly Holm. She's too big, man. And see, she would go in there and try to strike with Holly Holm. You know, Holly Holm going will walk through that, man. Like Joanna is not. It's not a big puncher, man. She just not. And I mean, somebody she as big as Holly Holm. She and, doesn't have the chin. And I know if Holly Holm can eat all the sideboard punches and still survive for five rounds, I mean, what you think Joanna going to do to Holly? Look, man, she been and got head kicked and her ass be knocked out. You thought Rose knocked out? Holly Holm going to put her in the darn, in, into the bottom of the, of the, of the mat and, and they, they had to carry her ass up out of there. Another thing about JJ's chin, you know what I'm saying? She's not. I mean, JJ has a hard weight cut to 115. We we all know that. We we all know that, and that weighs on that weighs on how much you can take if you drain your body. Because when you cut weight, you cut water from around your brain. You know what I'm saying? So with JJ not having to cut as much weight, you know what I'm saying? This you know JJ actually being able to put on a little bit of muscle for this fight. You know what I'm saying? Like this is it's just a different it's a different ball game, guys. It's just different. It's a JJ probably gonna walk into the octagon, probably weighing a little probably weighing 130 plus pounds. You know what I'm saying? So I mean it's we've never seen yes, yeah, she's gonna weigh in at 125, but she's not gonna be 125 when this fight when when the fight comes. And you know, this and, and JJ's gonna be a hundred, like I said, 130 plus pounds. So it's just it's 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 not the same parameters for either one of them. It's not this. They're not. The, okay. Neither one of them are fighting under the same parameters that we're used to seeing them fight at, y'all. You know what I'm saying? So it's a different ball game all around. It's not a. It's not. It's not like 
we're going to see the same we're going to see the same Valentina that we've seen at 135 or we're going to see the same Joanna that we've seen at 115. It, it, it's di- it's going to be different for both. I don't even count the Priscilla Catchaway fight as a fight for Valentina. That was that was a uh, that was a warm up. That was a sparring session for Valentina. You know what I'm saying? So in this fight with Joanna as her opponent, we're going to get to see the real 125 Valentina with someone that's actually going to land a punch on Valentina. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be different all around. So you can't make those assumptions <laughs> based off of what Valentina did at 135. Come on, well, y'all. Okay, no, Come see, on. You, you got to look at it like this. Oh she got head movement. You, you, you kind of got to look at it like this. Okay, so they, they fought, man. You got to really, you got to look at the fights that they had in Muay Thai because I'm telling you, they're, they're going to bring a Muay Thai bout into an octagon. So the only difference is that they're going to be in a cage. But the thing of it is, though, Joanna, to me, hadn't changed much in, in over a decade. And she still do the same thing. She got ground. She had, She's a blue belt in BJJ, but she don't rely on those skills. You know, she never does. Which, I mean, you know, and I, I don't think, me personally, she don't have confidence in those skills. See, she's going to have to do more than what she's doing. Like, she's not going to be able to get in there and strike because she can't outstrike Valentina. If it's a if if it's a pure striking bout, Valentina gonna win that. She's gonna win every time. Uh Joanna is very susceptible to left hands, man. She can't handle southpaws. And you know, even doing enough film study, everybody who switched to southpaw on Joanna, they caught her. Okay, even Tisha Torres hit her with a nice shot. Joanna cannot see those left hands coming. But Valentina gonna shift over to she's gonna go from orthodox to southpaw. Okay, and she's gonna catch Joanna. Joanna, for some reason, can't see those punches. And then two. You know, Valentina, uh, Joanna struggles against counter punches. She does. She can't see those counters coming. She's a beautiful striker. She's got a good jab. She's got all of that, but she's got to do more than jab and kick Valentina to death. It's not going to work, man. Some of those kicks, Valentina, she's going to she's gonna parry those kicks. She's going to catch those kicks. She's going to block those kicks, and she's going to counter off the kicks. She's going to grab Joanna. She's going to trip her. She's going to Ostagari her to death. She's going to uh, Tani Oshie her to death. She's going to do all of that stuff that Joanna doesn't tend to partake in because she's not really confident in throwing somebody to the ground. I mean, Joanna, her getting up off her back, she's very good at that. She can do that. Okay. And, and, and I, and, you know, Valentina going to have to take her down several times to keep her there. But I think if the fight's standing, I, I, I think that's bad for Joanna. I think really what I think Joanna need to do is try to mix it up. Okay, actually use some of that, that BJJ skill she got. Use that blue belt and actually catch Valentina because they're not expecting Joanna to go for no takedown. And I'm going to be quite honest, that would be the perfect game plan. But her standing with Valentina and just sitting out there in the open, it's going to be worse than what Rose did. I'm telling you because these counter punches, man, that girl, she's got a massive problem with that. And when Joanna don't see them punches coming, Joanna get hurt. That's what happened to Rose. That's what happened with Carolina Kovacavich caught her. I mean, it, it's a nightmare, man. It's a nightmare for her. Even at 125, like Valentina's a different fighter. She's more of a come forward straight ahead fighter. When she was at 135, she wasn't really, really willing to do that much because, you know, she didn't want to get countered by Nunez. You know, she didn't want to get hit by Kaufman. Like, she didn't want to get hit by those fighters because, you know, man, hell, they big and strong, you know? And you don't want to get countered by somebody big as hell because the counters are the ones you don't ever see coming. And I, I think Joanna, I think she in a world of trouble. I think she in a world of trouble. If she going in and try to strike and try to stay standing, I, I think she in massive trouble. If she don't mix this fight up and try to go to the ground, she going to have to do something different to make Valentina, first of all, respect her power. Because uh, Valentina not going to respect her power. She, she, she's not going to respect that because uh, she didn't respect it when they fought in Muay Thai and kickboxing. So she's not going to do it now. Joanna got to mix this thing up, man bad so that's that's just my thoughts on it and not even because i'm not it's a not, fan it's not an easy fight it's not an easy fight for even one of them they both got a challenge in front of them you know so i mean i'm i'm, I'm, I'm i just want to see the fight to be honest like you know if if who whichever one if joanna wins of course i'll be happy but if joanna i mean uh if valentina wins i would not be surprised you know I, i'm not saying that you know um 
I'm not saying that, you know, I'm being a little biased when I say, you know, Joanna's going to start Valentina. I'm just saying that I say that to get a reaction out of y'all, but I really, I what? want Joanna to win this fight. <laughs> like, I, I want, I, I'm rooting for Joanna in this fight, but if Valentina wins this fight, I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, Valentina's a beast. I mean, we all know that. Valentina's brother, a beast, but I'm I'm rooting for Joanna to win this fight. Brother, you say that just to give a reaction. You said it because you really believe it. That let's just say it that Joanna Joanna will probably never be a champion again. No. And yeah, correction, George. I don't think she's ever correction, George. I said it. I said oh, it just to get. Yeah. It. No, you said uh, it. So let's let they call it that. Well, with it, well, with that Move being said, Joanna's gonna starch Valentina. She's gonna starch Valentina. <laughs> Move it on. You wait and Move see. On. She's gonna starch yeah. Valentina. And when she does, when she you does, know I'm coming on this mobcast and I'm, and I'm calling you? all of you out. I'm Move calling on. each and every last one of you out. Nah, 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 wait, nah, hold nah, on. Nah, wait, wait, wait. Do you really think though that Joanna is really like in into this fight because? She said, "No matter what happens, she's still gonna go back down to straw weight." And that's crazy. Her to do that. Get I tried try to tell you. Go down. She can go down. That's crazy. She, she, she can go down to one fifteen. That'll be good. She can go down there. She needs to stick to one twenty five because that weight cut's killing her. She wants the belt. She's gonna go down to one fifteen. Uh, only two, thing two, 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 and, and, yep. and two, two, Rose will bless her with a fight. Rose will whoop her ass. Get through Tatiana. Joanna needs to get through Tatiana Suarez first. Rosa, bless her with a fight. Rose don't want that Jessica Andrade work. What you mean? Oh, oh, Rosa, 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 uh, Rose don't want that Tatiana Suarez work, and Rose don't work, want that yo uh, that Jessica Andrade work. No, 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 she, she don't want that same blueprint work. that JJ used against uh, Jessica Drive. If Jessica Drive was that good, she could have beat JJ, but she didn't. Now you, she especially you, that. should know. You should know that Jessica has power, but she doesn't have skill. Yeah, she's she's. What the hell is you crazy, man? <laughs> stamina, crazy brother. Stop it, stamina. Oh, stop it. Mercy. Only thing I'm gonna say is assume the position. <laughs> I'm gonna say it. <laughs> Assume the position. Assume the position. Okay. <laughs> if they win, give you a Brian Espin. Uh, what's this? Brian Jensen. Assume the position, boy, because it's gonna be wrong. <laughs> Where's Brian? I'm so I was about to have a heart attack. I thought you were about to say Brian Espinosa. I was like, oh my god. No, 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 no. <laughs> Do not mix the wine with my Merlin. How dare you suggest his name to my Lord Merlin? <laughs> Yo, no, guys, yeah, so wow, on a, on a, on a yeah, serious man. note, though, like for those of you who think that she doesn't want that work from Andrade, let me just tell you something. Like, and this is mentally speaking. I'm, you know, I'm going to speak mentally here. You know, Rose, you guys know she has mental illness. You guys know she has like PTSD and stuff. So I hope you guys are aware of that first. You know, after that bus incident, it did traumatize her a little bit, you know, because she does suffer from mental illness. And the fight, you know, was still two days away. Now, I can tell you, you know, as, as me personally, who suffers from mental illness, how difficult it is, you know, to recover from that, you know, from trauma like that. Now, Rose, you know, she almost didn't fight. But she did fight. And let me tell you something. For somebody to be able to recover like that mentally and go in and fight, if she can do that, there's no reason Rose should be afraid of a Tatiana Suarez or Jessica Andrade. Because I know how difficult it is to deal. I know how difficult 
it is to deal with mental illness. If Rose can come back from that after being traumatized like that and still fight one of the greatest champions at that weight class and beat him, she's not afraid. Like, Rose is not afraid of Andrade. That girl will fight whoever. So if she can handle that mentally, she has no reason to be afraid of Andrade. And I don't believe she's afraid of Andrade. And I don't believe she's afraid of a Tatiana. Suarez. I'm just See, the thing is, exactly Rugby Queens is exactly yeah. correct. Rugby Queens is exactly correct. Rose Nami Yunus has, has been through nothing in the ring, nothing in the octagon it can, can, uh, is more surmountable than what Rose Nami Yunus has gone through. This 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 uh, 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 lady has had a neck injury. Injury. You yep. got folks talking about a weight cut and and, 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 and this amount of weeks of preparation, but with Rose Nami Yunus, she can't heal a dang neck that's giving her spinal stenosis. Get the, man. Come on, man. Look, Rose is a warrior. Rose is a beast. Rose, you know, all these clowns talking about trauma Yunus would be that Rose will punk them. Punk them. Now, that's wrong. You, know, you I'm don't. Not, I'm not even talking about fighting. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, talk talk I'm not even talking about fight. I'm talking about her presence. Uh, all these war warriors talking about her mental illness. All these dudes with yeah. pizza stains on their on on her keyboards. Rose, I mean, she has dealing with spinal. She had headaches, and and matter of fact, I'm almost certain that she was hurt uh, uh, before she uh, uh, fought uh, Bojangle check. <laughs> she was dealing with that. She just didn't say because I've seen it. She was dealing with that with that nagging stuff it just came out what she was dealing with 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 the uh with the neck injury so rose ain't ducking nobody she ain't afraid of no andra like like i said i'm gonna keep on saying it i ain't you know i ain't, i haven't got no dog in the race when it comes to you know uh andra either way and i picked her against Gadella. When but, the fight is but you know uh, andra is no threat to rose i'm a unis <laughs> period when the fight is booked and rose is taking a fight i'm just gonna say Assume the position and bow down to the panel. And we bow down to the Rose. panel. And you know, <laughs> you guys, Rose, 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 she's Rose one of those, like, I'm she's not. very, Man, she, Rose, like, Rose, even, yeah, like, she Ooh. even said the belt is not that important to her. Like, she's more concerned about being just a good mixed martial artist and being a good role model. For her, that's more important than having the belt. And someone like Rose, she's been through healing back. That's somebody who's doable. She's doable. And those are the those are the ones you have to that are the beasts. You mm -hmm. know, when you're more worried about being a good role model and being a good mixed martial artist than a champion, those are the ones those that are the ones. those mm -hmm. are the ones you gotta watch for. Those are the beasts. Mm -hmm. And whether y'all yeah, like it or not, Thug Go Rose ahead, is coming. Whether y'all like it or not, Thug Rose is coming. So y'all better watch out. Thug Rose, Thug Rose. Tommy. He's talking. These guys mm -hmm. talking about her hair. Talking about she. Like, he be like, "Oh, Rose, can't get your autograph." You know I me, mean? I'm like, "Oh, what's up, Rose?" He be like, "Oh, Rose looks like a boy with all the." When they see him in person, Rose, can't get your autograph. Oh, I love it. Get it. And, and you know, so some Sambo's fence is when she when she cut her hair and then she give a piece of lock of that hair. I bet she put a little bowl around and sleep it in the in the, in the bed, put on a little, little wee pillows. What are you talking about? What the hell? I'm talking about you know, the fanboys. <laughs> when she cuts her hair, it wants pizza. Yeah, it's, it's in the building. What does her no, hair you know have what? to do with that? I'm talking Judge, about the fanboys. You always bring up some stalker type shit. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you're, you're just talking about the fanboys. You're talking about the fanboys. Don't jump too hard on George. He's talking about that. They probably do money. <laughs> you know, you guys yeah, are you know, like, like, I like, I like my, my, my first show is, is um, a criminal nine. You sometimes get the mind of the criminal. I understand it. Oh, well, he's talking, about, he's talking about people like Fat Boy. Could I? Because yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I know Fat Boy probably somewhere lurking. And you know what? Fat Boy gonna be assuming the position with Valentina, knock out, uh, um, knock out Joanna Bojangle check because this, mm. this, uh, I'm telling you, man. And then also, also Fat Boy Cyborg. See, he be lurking around, man. I'm telling y'all, watch. I'm identifying. I wouldn't be surprised if that's Fat Boy now with all them ghost accounts, yeah. man. Coming in here trolling us now, man. I know that's who it is. That's okay. That's okay. You're going to be assuming a position. Oh, You're no. going to be assuming and a I, damn I, position with your fat ass. Here, and fat. I want to see this. <laughs> fat Boy is coaching um, Moby Dick. <laughs> big fat whale. Um, and I don't want to. What does he look over, like? Over. He, Go ahead, he, he, he I'm white, sorry. Dude. Okay, so he got this. He got this parakeet, man. And you know, I'm like, that. You know, he got this little. You know how they had them earrings in their ears, and, and you know they got the hole in their ear, earlobe. 
Uh-huh. And he got a parakeet, man, to be picking shit out of his ears. And I said, damn. I said, damn, fat boy. What the hell you doing with that parakeet, man? You got the parakeet, what? Whispering sweet nothings in your fat ass ear? I mean, what the hell is going on? Y'all that's, that's real fat of you. Real fat of you to my channel. And leave your little comments, man. That's real, that's real fat of you to do so. That's what I told him. Yeah, you got that dang on parakeet. That's all right, though. That's all right. Everybody, I'm going to watch. You just wait, man. Wait, fat boy. We're going to find you. Now, speaking of cyborg, let's open yeah. up that. Right I, 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 watch it when you say her name. No, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Her name. We will tell no, you. I'm, no. I'm team cyborg. I'm team cyborg. Calm okay. down. All right. Calm down. But I do have to say this, though. Boy. I do have to say this because I like I don't have a dog in this fight. You know what I'm saying? But I do. Well, I I see Cyborg winning this fight and still and still. Uh-huh. But but but, but what? Why are you putting the don't back? don't be surprised. Oh Lord. I'm just saying, don't be surprised if Joanna if if uh Amanda Nunes does the unthinkable. Just don't be surprised. I'm not worried. You should you should be worried. You should be worried. This, this is, Tay Tay. This is you sure you're not TJ thirty four seven? Tay 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 Tay. Don't you wish no, right now? Like, no, baby. Like, no, where's baby. This is B- yeah, I want this Mercy. Is where's this Mercy? This is BJ at, from No Filter oh, MMA. Don't get it twisted. Amanda Nunes is too busy putting costumes on her dog and all this stuff. Tell them both. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them both. <laughs> busy around the RV with, with Nina who's getting ready for their, yeah. for their wedding. Listen. Don't you know Amanda Don't Nunes you know blew, Amanda me blew me a kiss? When I call her a creante? She blew me a kiss. <laughs> you saw it, right, Coach? Yeah, oh yeah, I seen it. I seen it. Oh, wow. I said, That's what? Nice. what? She, Sorry, she I don't knows, know my She knows what's going on. She knows what it is. She knows right. what it is. Oh, BJ, don't yeah, you'll swing that way. I don't open that way. BJ don't open up a can of worms in here, man. God, dog, BJ. Right, the whole thing is and I got to hold her belt. That's my man, BJ Johnson, boy. He got it. From no filter in the name, baby. What's that echo? What's that echo? Y'all move away from the goddamn computer. <laughs> it's not like yo, it's not Genesis, like the Genesis, Genesis, you too movie. much, man. You too much, Genesis. You, double, you, you know what? Way. I'm just real. And I'm under <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it sounded like interstellar and shit. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is Arpit singing in here? Is he he was. Was. Yes, Arpit is in here. Well, somebody close to the goddamn computer. Is it going? Okay, Hello? yeah, it's going out. BJ. It's BJ. Oh, it wasn't me. I roll. It's you, brother. It's you, brother. It's you. It ain't me. Yeah, it is him. Yeah, it is you, man. Yeah. Mute. Yeah, well, I mean, adjust it or whatever. That's fine. Yeah. See, see, PJ, what's going to happen is Amanda's going to be the same ICU uh, unit along with um, Joanna. You're going to be sipping, gonna be sipping food through a, through, a, through a straw. God, dog, BJ. Oh, BJ. So once again, George, I think you may have misunderstood me for the seventh time. I never misunderstood you. Um, I, I never. I, 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 I never. I never. I see clearly. Okay, I never said I was rooting for. I never said I was rooting for Amanda. I said I'm rooting for Cyborg Team Cyborg and Steel. Why did I said, you with that idea that she can actually have a chance against Cyborg? Cyborg's gonna be, be like you know like this one man stamina. I, and I know you love my movie references. Can I say it's something? Gonna like, I it's, gonna like when, it's gonna be like when it's gonna be like when when um quick fought um Delawise in in um no. all night. You say three oh, punch like oh, a oh, bitch. Right. This isn't the lioness of old. This isn't the young Amanda, the young lioness with the corn rolls just fighting whoever. It's a different Amanda, man. She's not, you know, just a corn. That one she used to, I, I, can't, I ain't gonna say she can't bang and she doesn't still bang. She does, but this ain't the can old of the corn rolls, Amanda. You know what I'm saying? Can I say something? This is a whole nother. Yeah. <laughs> oh, come, uh, 
Go on, up it. Yep. I want to say that next. I want to say that that uh, you can't rule out uh, nuns out of this fight because uh, uh, no nuns can hit very hard. She can hit, and Cyborg never faced a girl like nuns who can hit hard. But uh, but in the same time, nuns never faced uh, faced a girl like Cyborg. So I think this match gonna be even. You can't rule Thank out. You, uh, Arpit. Uh, Thank you, Arpit. Thank you, Arpit. Oh, Tay Tay. What? <laughs> Uh oh, Tay Tay, they, you know, they they ganging up on us. They said that uh, this fight finna be even. Uh, God, you know dog, what? Tay Let them keep talking. Even what? Even Let what? Them keep talking. That's that's Arpit, man. I love you, Arpit, brother. I love you. But whatever uh -oh. you smoking is like with um <laughs> angel dust, you or, you, or you or you're using no, um. I'm, um, no, I'm saying eye. that this what? Listen. Amanda is a great striker. You can't rule that. She's a good fighter, but this is Cyborg. This is the board. Yeah, I, ag this is yeah, I agree that. I agree with But she hit, she hit like Cyborg. She, she hit, she's hit a hitter. She's a hitter. She's a flyweight. Oh, there you go. Yeah, what I do agree with you. What are going to do to Cyborg? But yeah, but get in there striking. Yeah, but, but get in there. Because Ben engaged with her. Getting in there striking with Valentina is playing Russian roulette. Who... Who can, oh, who has a like better that chance? With Cyborg? Yes, it is like that with Cyborg. But who in the UFC or in MMA right now besides Megan Anderson has the power to make Cyborg think? <laughs> Nobody else but Amanda Nunes. So y'all just so Amanda Nunes, if she lands a, a flush right hand on Cyborg, is just not gonna do nothing to her. Um, Cyborg can take yeah, punishment. Have you forgotten? I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I don't understand. Jo Jojo Bars, even though Jojo Bars won that fight, she didn't really knock Cyborg down. Hello. Cyborg kept on going. Hello. God no. Have y'all not, not forgotten about that? Hello. Yes. God yes. no, BJ. No, BJ. I'm just saying, y'all. I'm in the new name. Uh, no, I'm not, I haven't forgot about Jojo Bar, but, but Amanda Nunes has the best chance in women's MMA right now to beat Cyborg. She, I'm not saying she's going to yeah. beat Cyborg, y'all. I'm not saying that. That's true. Don't that's put true. words in my mouth. That's true. <laughs> no, no, we, put, we think our words let you hear them. Uh-oh. What, oh, yeah. like, what I'm saying like, is... What I'm saying is... As a as in in UFC WMMA, Amanda Nunes has the best chance of beating Chris Cyborg than anyone else on the UFC roster for that's women's true. MMA that's right true. now. That but is what I'm saying, y'all. Okay. But BJ, BJ, why did she fall to T twenty eight? Oh Lord, why oh, did she, oh, why Lord. Why would she wait so long to fight Cyborg? Did that? I mean, she why we have to be? She might because she's scared. She might be scared. Deontay. You're the one that just said that she might have <laughs> There you go. You just defeated your... You just talked your own... Uh, your, uh, your, uh, uh, yo, how... how, how that, yo? No, no, but the two things... No, are no, no, I didn't. No, two, I did things, not. The two things no. are not against you. No, they don't. No, I said that I did not say that you know, I did not say that Amanda Nunez was not scared to fight Cyborg. Come on, are y'all not listening to the words I'm saying? I'm, what? Just, I'm listening. I know what you're saying. I'm listening. I said that out of all the women on the UFC roster, Amanda Nunez has the best chance of beating Cyborg. Now, the fact that yep. she took so long to sign the fight, she probably was scared. That ain't got that ain't got nothing to do with each other. Yes, it does. Those two, yeah. those, those two statements, those two statements don't have anything to do with each other. So that's one hundred percent right. This no, is I don't agree on it. I, I'm not agree on it. I'm not agree on it. If she's scared to fight with Cyborg, she shouldn't be in the ring. First place. She is not scared to fight with Cyborg. She's taking her time to prepare. God no. Well, you know what? Here's right. the thing. I'm, I'm she shouldn't have been calling yeah. her out if she wasn't ready. Wasn't ready. Yep, I agree with her. Oh hell. oh, hell. And he said that's thing with Megan. Exactly. Thing with Megan. If that's how she felt, <laughs> why, why did she call her out right away and then we had to wait nine months for this fight then? Tay Tay Brown said it. Uh, hello? 
Round one. Round fight. Fight. Because she didn't want that. Because she didn't want what? What was that? She didn't want that work. Oh, oh, snap. Yep. So you just once again answered your own question. <laughs> that's a 10-8 that's a, that's a round, right? <laughs> round right there. Man, a ten we, stamina, 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 hey, can stamina. Can I got a question for stamina right quick. Stamina, will you please, will you please explain to George Page that those two <laughs> statements that I made have nothing to do with each other. Will you please explain that to this man? Why please, because I can't do it no more. Somebody that don't understand. How's he gonna explain it? Uh, <laughs> George Page, how, you, it. George Page how you go? How you gonna explain the fact that you can't put two and two together, man? Come on, dog. That's a personal problem. God, George, George, he was four. Ooh. I can explain about you supporting somebody who knows she's not ready to take on Cyborg. She's been scared of Cyborg. She should have been. Lord, I, 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 if, oh, let me see if she feels she had a chance. She should have been to the chance when she had the opportunity to, but she chose not to. She chose to wait. Now, she had enough time after she fought uh, Valentina. Enough time, but she chose to wait and keep hailing it up. Cyborg was being ready, hot and ready. She wasn't. I tagged George. I mean, I tagged them. Go ahead. What, what BJ is saying, and the thing that he's completely right on, is that those two things are not mutually exclusive. Amanda is the most capable of all the UFC rostered fighters versus Cyborg, whether yep. she whether she in her mind is ready to realize and capitalize upon those capabilities, yes. as that's something else. She can yep. do it, whether she believes she can, she can and whether she but, will do it. Or not, God, no, 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 and capitalize on it. Yes, she can. If she, I, I think she will, she will, but if she can't do it, nobody can. Nobody can. Do you but understand no now, George? Well, nobody can, because if she, like I said, she's cool. doing it now because she has cool. no choice to do it. Cool, cool, one hundred. She she's, she's putting yeah. it in the corner. But she put right. somebody put baby in the corner, and she has no choice but not to do it. She's the one called out cyborg. She's the one who made the decision, and now it's time to, to, to put up or shut up. One hundred, one hundred. Boom. God no. God. I am the powerful one. I am master of the universe. <laughs> I can't. Um, I can't. I think I'm just here for the foolishness. I you came to the wrong place. place. Genesis, I can't deal with you, man. You know why you can't deal with me? Because you ain't never met another <laughs> woman in this various household <laughs> with me, and I'm unapologetic, okay? God, dog. <laughs> God, dog, man. man. That's the female I'm coach sorry, right there. DJ, but you took it there, okay? Okay, uh, can I say something? Oh, oh, BJ. <laughs> I think uh, the um, BJ is making a right uh, right thing, but she he's saying that he's scared. She's scared of uh, cyborg. She is not scared of cyborg. She is just preparing for cyborg. If she is scared to fight with cyborg, she shouldn't be in the ring with her in first place. Because this is all <laughs> in the man. Life's not like that. Life's she, can't call, she can't be running she, her mouth, though, man, and, she, and taking all this time. She's not, she not scared to fight Cyborg. She's just preparing for her. And I think most important thing, the money no, is right. No, no, no okay. This is the thing. Okay. This is the thing. Okay. Well, the fighters, these days, she had no choice. fighters these days, they need, they need way too many bits. And I get it because, especially in the UFC, fighters get screwed over so much. Okay. But it's like yep. you, all the variables, all the stars can align for... Amanda Nunes, don't be calling out Cyborg if you need nine months or all this and that to, you know? I mean, then people are going to call you afraid. She could have done all that preparation in silence. Sooner. Nunes is a clown. Amanda could have fought sooner. You guys remember yeah. her foot injury that she had? Uh, Which was a lie. <laughs> oh, my God. She was yeah, with Kayla Harris. She could have fought sooner. Yep. But damn, damn what sure was it? Me. A week or two later, she was out riding her damn bicycle. Yeah, she lied about I like to ride my bicycle. She lied. Queen, that's she freaking bicycle. lied. Yeah. She's a damn liar. But like I said, let's, let's move on from, you know, which the truth is going to be. Let's talk about what's going on with Rachel Archivist. What in the hell is... 
What is wrong? She about to beat the hell. She about to beat the hell out of Paige. I can tell you what's going on. No, no. BJ Johnson started fast. She might not though. No, she might not be hundred percent in there. Like, yeah, I agree. I think she needs to wait though. I do think she needs to wait. I don't think she needs to go into this fight with a with a with a weakened. I don't. I, I don't know if it's broken or not, but a weakened or orbital bone. I don't think she needs to jump into this fight with Paige, but you know, I will say a one hundred percent Rachel Ostovich beats Paige Van Zandt. Most well, definitely. Well, here's the thing: if Paige attacks that orbital bone, I, and then I want Rachel like, Ostovich I, I, to beat so Paige Van Zandt out of the UFC. That's what I want. I mean, not to have it yeah, over, yeah. Then we're gonna keep on the hold no, as long he can. That's his pretty little, happen, that's little pet. That won't happen. I think no. that you know, if if, if this will be, I think you know, it, I don't, I, I'm not in her shoes. I don't know, but you know, I if she's if it's feeling good to her, and I get, I get they cleared her. I mean, like mentally, maybe it's like a one of those things where it's like, all right, you come back. And it's like you, when you go through something so vicious and so terrible, it's like you just. A warrior wants to get back in there, and I mean, honestly, before now, I was like, man, I don't know how long she's gonna be in there. Well, maybe this will build some momentum. She can, you know, uh, beat the old robot. You know, she's a little jitterbug in there. I don't know what she like. What do you say, coach? She be moving weird. Like, but I think this could be good for for Austin. Yeah, like, I think that they cleared her. So I mean, look, you know, I mean, well, I mean, in. the general, like, even though the doctor clears you, like. Even though the doctor clears you, it doesn't mean you should do it. You That's may be true. okay to do it, but it doesn't mean you should do it. Like, when my right. doctor cleared me to go back and play rugby. When I went back, my first season back, I still had problems. I was still in a lot of pain. The games were very difficult. I was still slow. You know, like, I, I think I came back too soon. I hear you. Because, they rush people. I back. mean, but that's. But I don't know. I mean, maybe she's okay, but I'm just saying, you know, I'm just saying just because the doctor clears you, yeah, she may be okay to fight, but that doesn't mean she should. She can still have issues with that orbital. Yeah. She's still going to have issues with it. I don't think she I'm, should do it. The rugby I, mean, I applaud like... her for, for coming back, but, you know, that's serious and that's really nothing to play with, even though the doctor cleared her. I mean, I'm really afraid for her. And, you know, I, I understand, you know, she wants to come back, but that's really serious. And, you know, that's nothing to play around with. And, and, and I hear what everybody and I hear uh, mm -hmm. Tay Tay and Ruby Queen. I, I hear you. I really do, because I, I've had injuries where I registered in my first year, you know, and 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 I was, you know, I had torn ligament. I had the team doctor tell me, oh, we're going to. I think I told this story. Oh, we're going to tape you up. We have to have surgery. It is what? Surgery at the end of the season, so I'm I'm not even playing, but I'm gonna tape up and play every down. That doesn't make any sense in practice. So I I I I, I totally realize that these doctors, you know, sometimes they'll clear people, and especially in boxing and combat. So it happens all the time. But what I'm trying to get at is that I just think that it, it, I'm assuming mentally it's one of those things where it's like she can't just be stagnant. She has to get if there's any chance that she can fight. I think she's just going like she has to get in there and prove to herself that, look, you know, you can do whatever you want. Look, you're not in my life anymore. I'm still a warrior. I'm still a fighter, and I'm a fight. And whatever anything happens to my own, we'll figure it out. But I'm gonna get this victory under my my belt. That's what I'm saying. I, I just but, but this is a concern. Now That's Paige it. knows about the injury. She go, she can do the like, same thing what Manda Nunes did to um or Raquel Pimentel attack that injury. Oh. All she had to do was get, get a, get a yeah. good uh, head shot, and then you know if we go stop, it'd be like a time when um Leslie Smith's ear got blown when she fought um Jessica Black Eye. That's concerning. It's gonna be it's a good chance it might be referee stopping. I don't know if she want to lose that. I don't know if she want to lose that way. I just feel like I just feel like Rachel Ostovich is just too too well rounded of a fighter to 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 get in there and let Paige Van Zant boo yeah. her even and with the, even with the injury even with but even even with the injury who say that one more time. Van Zen hasn't been active. Ostovich has lost, you know, some fights, but she at least been active. She only lost one. She only she only lost to De La Rosa. Okay, well, so, De La Rosa. But, but, I, I, but I really, I really do think that that uh, even with the injury, that Rachel Ostovich wins. 
I don't know. I don't know. I, I think I hope, so. I I hope, even, I hope though, you know, even though even though even though Ostovich has you know the looks, she has the boobs, you know what I'm saying, the butt, the hips, all of that. She's still a good fighter. All, all like, things she's are good still, fighters. She's still a skillful <laughs> fighter. <laughs> he's just saying all things. And, and that's, why, about that's me. why that guy was uh he was so insecure. I mean, that this this woman is just mm -hmm. Got totally beat down to the ground, and, and she's getting back in the octagon. That dude was a punk, and you know that's that's what it came down to. It's insecurity, mm -hmm. and uh, I think it says a lot about her. Now, like I said, I want to make it clear. I I totally hear what all of you are saying, um, but I, it's just to me, it's like my it's like wow, she's getting back in there. Well, you know, I, I I hope that she is okay, but I I just think that I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. And, and also, see, to me, she also got to think about her child. I mean, I know it's about you, but also, but think about your child also. Because I think she really, don't, even though mommy got beat up by daddy, the last thing she want to do is get her, see her get hurt by somebody else. It, well, you know, it, it's a terrible injury, but I feel, I don't know. I guess it could have been worse, like a detached retina for fighting-wise, fighting-wise. Um, I don't know. It's it's bad going into it. Uh, you know, you break your orbital, you get your orbital broken, and then, you know, wins the fight. Fights Jerry nineteenth. Oh, well. And then, coach, what do you say? Those injuries usually take like what nine months. Misha Tate, Misha Tate, Tate was out. Misha Tate was out for like nine months when um, Sarah McMahon broke her over the ball. So it takes a while. Well, it's, it's well, it definitely is. said I can't say I can't say anything about the injury. I. I I guess I'm just like I'm just like saying the character. Like, wow. And like, Kel Brooks it, suffered the same thing when he, he got his other one. <laughs> he and got his other Errol one. Smith, yeah, with Errol uh, Spence Jr. as well. Yeah, but you know what? The, the the original one held up. It was the second one, but now the I don't know how long the 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 rest was in between the fights. Mm -hmm. But the but second that's so one. Scary. Mm -hmm. It is. Yeah, because think about a knee and like a, a head a head kick, a knee, or just a good um a uh -oh. punch can can take you can take her out. And that's gonna be a concern. Now, if she can survive the fight and with with a, with the with the fracture and even beat uh, PVZ on points, that's a good thing. But okay, so George, let, me ask, hmm? let me ask you, what do you think Rachel should do to 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 because you've seen. Paige Van Zandt, but you're more familiar than I am. I just, you know, I just see her she's like a no jitterbug in there. But <laughs> she, what do you think? What do you think uh, Ostevich should do or 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 needs to do to to have an advantage in this fight? Get ground on the work. ground. Yeah, I groundwork. Coach. Yeah, get take ground. it to the ground because she keeps it standing and and pay, and you know Paige's gonna do that Daniel Sun kick. You know, like she likes to do, like you know with Beck Rollins. Yeah, it, you know. It's gonna really gonna really gonna give um Richard I either it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen like this. The referee's gonna stop it, or the doctor's gonna stop it, or the corner's gonna stop it. Who's gonna stop it? Yeah, but right you guys forget, you know, yeah, Rachel Ostovich is a wrestler, but Rachel Ostovich throws with a lot of power. And uh Montana de la Rosa said after the fight that um the, the fight that she just had with Rachel Ostovich, she was like, you know, that's my friend, but my God, don't she does she not hit hard. You know what I'm saying? Like Rachel Ostovich throws. If you ever watch Rachel Ostovich punch, she throws with a lot of power, a lot of power. So I mean, if 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 she, I mean, she can swing a punch and and clip Paige Van Zandt. You know what I'm saying? That could be a game changer in this fight. What well, the UFC well, should do is like this. Should do it like this. They should go ahead and um, I guess if they go ahead and check out on um, Rachel C, she can work. Okay, good. But not they might always give the fight option to maybe um Montana De La Rosa. Or maybe one of the other girls from Tough, you know, or some or somebody else, because they got enough time. The fight's not up to the end of uh, the middle of um, January, and that's at least about a month or in a couple of weeks for somebody else to get jump in if they have to. Say that. Say that one more time, George. I, I didn't catch that. Say that one. More. I would say give an option to somebody else, like Montana Del Rose or somebody else, and that's at least almost you got December. Fights down to January nineteenth. That's at least a month and a couple of weeks. Just enough time to you know this. They always do short notice fights. And some people don't even have not even a full month. 
getting ready for a, a, short, notice. a short notice. Hell, that's even that's even worse news for that's even, that would be even worse news for Paige Van Zandt to throw in there with De La Rosa. I mean, how about Bob Hunchick? Bob Hunchick. <laughs> man, ain't no, man, ain't nothing wrong with Barb Hunchak, man. <laughs> yeah, there is. That's why she's good. <laughs> I like Barb, but it did not have been, not been used lately. Since she fought um, uh, Meth Head Murphy, I mean, she been sitting inside. She she between a lot. She been hanging out with Cat Cat Zangano. They've been friends since they fought back in when when they were both for featherweights. I mean, um, well, Murphy, was, you know, Murphy doesn't think the fans know shit. So, yeah, because. She's got a, now. She's got that first surgery a while back. It will be wild for if we see her, but I think she should fight Nico. You think Paige should fight Nico? Or, no, Lauren Murphy no, should Lord fight Nico. Oh, uh, okay, okay, yeah. That I mean, I, well, I mean, with Nico being the number two fighter, number two ranked flyweight right now, I think you know, I think Nico will probably get like, you know, he should probably get. One of the she probably get the loser of if if Nico even decides to fight again, I think Nico will probably get the loser of I two K again. You know what I'm saying? Or you know if uh, I don't I don't know, but I think she'll when, probably get. When, go ahead. You you see still like when Nico? You know like what she did? You still like her? They probably get right a with uh with Laura Murphy than get against uh, either uh uh Jessica I or um, Caitlin Kajakuyan. I just don't want to see any more uh, matchups from that season of Tough. Just put those girls with some different people. Anyone that was on that TV show she shouldn't fight each other anymore. They need to stop doing that. It's just lazy matchmaking. Makes me really sick. How about Liz Caramooch versus um KKK Lee? I mean, I don't think that I don't think it's bad for them to pair those girls against each other. I mean, those girls are the first wave of that division. You know what I'm saying? I mean, those girls are in that division, so eventually they're gonna have to fight each other. You know, I don't think it's. I think the tough thing is kind of out the window now. You know what I'm saying? Those girls fought on tough, but I mean, hey, now you're in the UFC. You know what I'm saying? You got you girls are. I mean, is is as crazy as it sounds. You know what I'm saying? But the the girls from tough, the good girls from tough. Are, are really the core of the division. I mean, you got De La Rosa, you got Sarge Eubanks, you got Bar um, Roxanne Modafferi, uh, you got you got Jillian Robinson coming up. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you got Shana Rachel Dobson, Austin. Shana Dobson. Shana, well, not Shayna Dobson. You got Montana. I'm talking about the girls that are good. Montana De La Rosa. Those girls are really the core of, of the flyweight division. Now, you got your Jesse Rose Clarks, your Ashley Evan Smiths, um, your Chukagians, your eyes, you know, Carmoose, you got those girls, but Alexis Davis. I mean, of course, Alexis Davis, you know, Nico Montana. You got those girls. I mean, I mean, but you, I mean, I don't think it's them paying those girls up because they were on top. I, I, I mean, the tough, those tough, some of the tough girls, I ain't gonna lie, some of the tough girls were garbage, but some of them are not garbage. No, I'm not saying that. No, I mean, it's, I think it's time for people to. I think it's time for people to recognize that not all those girls from Tough were garbage, and that those girls are le some of those girls are legitimate opponents. You know, I mean, they're all legitimate. They're all legitimate. But uh, I, I think, I think, they we got it again. Um, but uh, okay, uh, what was I going to say? The Tough tournament. I mean, I think what's been going on with with Sarge and and. Nico and some of this other stuff. I, I think it did. We got to put it to rest with this whole tough tournament thing. Yeah, there's some. I don't think any of them are garbage. They're all legitimate opponents. But uh, you know, the way that a lot of you know those fighters in the tough tournament have, or enough of them have been acting. Oh yeah, you, like Stam just said, let's put them up against some other people, man. And I think Chikage and I. I think I has a good fight with Nico, even though I don't like Jessica. I I can't stand her. But I think this year is a good fight with Nico. And Kugan uh, beats most of them. Yeah, how about like, 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 tough like, tournament people, man? Like, 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 how about like Sarge against uh, uh, um, KJ? Um, you like you? I call him Gerald, Robert, uh, Robert E. Lee. Um, Listen, Sarge could, could have a good fight with anybody. Sarge is, has skills, all right? Uh -huh. Sarge has freaking skills. 
go watch the fight again against not you specifically, George, but uh, oh, against uh, Roxanne Modafferi. Roxanne Modafferi is a good fighter. We ain't gonna mm. talk about tough fighters and then not give Roxanne Modafferi her credit. She's a solid ass fighter. Fighter. Oh, I mentioned. I mentioned. So I mentioned. Because the only girls left in the tough is um, um, Jillian, Shannon, Roxanne, um, uh, uh, Muffhead, Muffhead Murphy, um, Bob, she, well, she's not fighting too much. I know they dropped that chick from Armenia. That's one who missed weight when she fought um, Rachel. Oh, Rachel. I think, and I think a chick from Budapest, she, from Budapest. she fought a while back, and she lost and had her anything much from Emily. I don't think they picked her up. Emily Whitmire is a strong way. She still, went down the strong way. Oh, we start with I know um what's the face's wife um Maya what's the face she went down the straw way and we all know Dina where Dina's at he's over there Victor yeah. I think Carmus yeah, can, yeah. Carmus can still come Carmus can still fight uh mm -hmm. you know uh who the Chikugan of course I mean there's there's fighters out there so and, still, and then you think about it if um you know you can you know like I said you know my what you know what if Joanna moves up she she can probably go through many a lot of the tough girls and I think the part, 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 I think the person can probably give her a real fight is probably uh Caitlin or maybe even um you know you think about it, Joanna and um and Jessica and Drop. Well, Jessica Those might two. be better at one twenty. She ain't gonna be Valentina, but she I'm telling y'all, and I don't wanna mm -hmm. I, I don't wanna do the whole thing where I'm saying that Tatiana's the world beater, but oh, the like what she's been through also is crazy. And I'm telling you, Tatiana's coming for. She's going to give Rose some problems. That's that's going to be a tough fight. But but uh, uh, what's her name? Um, uh, Bojangle check. She's I, she might be better off uh, getting some fights in at, at one twenty five. I think she'd be a, more of a contender at one twenty five. I mean, she 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 she's barely making weight. She looks like friggin' uh, a Smeagol at, at the uh, weigh-ins. The uh, weigh-ins. That's why I said the same thing, dude. I think she, I think she should. I think she should definitely fight. Get some fights in at one twenty-five. You know what I'm saying? I I, I I I agree with that. I think I also think Mackenzie Dern should test her. Should test the waters at one twenty-five too, because Mackenzie Dern could be a threat at one twenty-five. Because well, she doesn't even I mean, care about making weight. weight. I mean, I mean. I don't think she doesn't care about making weight. I, I don't think that's true, but I just think that you know she she had a slip up, of course, with with the with the with the gym change and all of that stuff. But I'm telling you, dude, she just seemed like she cared. She, she, she went straight to if, the if Mackenzie Dern, if Mackenzie Dern gets her head out of her ass, whether it's at one fifteen or whether it's at one twenty five, Mackenzie Dern is a threat. I don't care what y'all say about her missing weight. It is what it is. Mackenzie Dern with some hey, discipline. Mackenzie Dern with some discipline is a threat at one twenty five or at one fifteen. Period. She got even, hands and she got jujitsu. So you can put it. Uh, well, I said, I said that weeks ago. I said that weeks ago that if she had discipline, but she doesn't. She doesn't. See, like this. Even even Claudia Gadea, she parties and parties, but she still makes weight. And what is Mackenzie Madera's excuse? Hey BJ, I mean, that's, right. that's, that's, that's Mackenzie right. Dern. That's Mackenzie Dern problem right there. But I'm just I'm talking about her skill set. Mackenzie Dern is a beast, whichever weight class she fight at. And I don't think she get tossed up in the, in a fly. Stop! Stop it! Stop! Mackenzie Dern's a weight. She's a definition of a weight bully. So she, I mean, I don't know. One twenty-five. I mean, I think she did something, but I, I don't know. Like when you talk about weight bullies, I mean, she's a definition of one. Dern is no better than top five in flyweight. No way. No way. Yeah, I don't, I don't think so either. Stop. Stop. Top five. Stop. Top five. Stop. I don't think she can top Stop. ten. Stop. Stop. Well, she'll, she'll give. Stop. She'll give some of them some, she'll give some of them trouble. Some. She'll oh, give a lot. She, of might, she might give this she guy. Might she might be a, no. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's still. I don't. Mackenzie I don't Dern, know. You don't know what you get with with Dern. <laughs> Mackenzie Dern with that right hand, dude. That right hand gonna drop anybody. That right. She, Mackenzie Dern's she, right hand will drop anybody. But not everybody. Not everybody. Not everybody. everybody. You no, know, it's, it's gonna be sitting there like. Uh, uh, talk, talk to him, General. Talk to him. Yeah, it, not everybody's gonna be just sitting there like ABC was now. 
Sar Sarge is not going to just be sitting there. She might get clipped, but she's not going to just be sitting there like that. Who drops her head when he drops throw her head over head. Right. She's gonna get uppercut. Somebody she's gonna she will drop her head to over her head. She's gonna get uppercut. She's gonna be be starched out. She's gonna have a toe curl. Oh boy, here we go. Here we this go. Is, this is the thing. This is the thing. If you're not talking about winning the boat, what are you talking about? You know. So it's kind of like that's the that's the end game here. I mean, well, and well, why would why would Mackenzie why would Mackenzie Dern be talking about winning a belt when she's only had two fights in the UFC? Well, I'm, we're talking about her upside, so that, that's what I'm referring to. Okay, that's all. Black women are gonna put if the dude she goes to fly probably if they still got PVZ they're gonna do another uh, WWE laundry match like with her and um. And but Kitty Dern is PGC like they're doing with Rich Artivist and um and um and um uh uh Paige Van Zandt. Oh Lord, that might that, 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 that was our last competition. That would be terrible. That's how it is. They, you know, they want to sell to the fanboy simps, and that's why I said this, this fight with Rachel and, and um and Paige. So what y'all think about since we're talking about the flyways? What y'all think about Antonina's place in this division? We she forgot. Got, we ain't even said anything nothing about Antonina. Antonina's gonna be one of the. I know it doesn't yeah. matter. And the Danes don't matter to me. But Antonina's gonna be a huge name. He already top five. Instant top five. No, 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 she, you know, yeah. I mean, it's it's her sister, so I, yeah. so that'll be interesting. You may have to does. create a uh 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 interim channel for her interim championship for her, if you know, because she didn't know they know she ain't gonna fight a sister. Did she yeah, just have that's, a that's, just have a Go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, I'm just, you know, it's it's interesting to see, you know. Um, who they put besides G Young Kim, you know, which it was supposed to be another girl, you know what I'm saying? But I just want to see, I want to see these tough girls get tested because I like the I like there's a few of the tough girls that I like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I like uh Rachel Ostevich and I like Jillian Robertson and I like Montana De La Rosa. And I'm in a way, I'm kind of glad that you know what I'm saying, Valentina, Antonina. Uh, Alexis Davis, you know, I'm glad that some of those girls are in this division because I want to see those girls tested. I want to see, uh, especially Montana De La Rosa. Like, I want to see Montana De La Rosa with a real test. That's you why I don't want them to see fight each other you... anymore. That's it. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Yo, coach, we want to see, say that. Say that one more time. I'm saying that's exactly what I was saying earlier. That's why I don't want those tough girls to fight each other. I want them to be tested too. As long as they fight each other, I don't believe that they will be. They need to fight the established existing yeah, UFC yeah, 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 I agree with you. I agree with that. I absolutely agree with that. Yo, coach, we want your words on it. What you feel? How, how, what you think of these guys? Two girls? guys Stretch I, out, guys. I gotta, guys. I gotta run. I'll, I'll, I'll holler at you guys. All right. All right. See all right, general. You, general. Much, Much love, love, man. Salute to the general. Right, yeah. all right, peace, peace, fam. Yeah. Like, where, where is the where is the coach yeah. at? Yeah, Where's coach. We want to. Yeah, coach. Yeah, we want to know what you feel. You feel like the girls, the set of keep them keep fighting tough girls. They should expand. Like, like you can see, like Martel they also fight uh, Angela Lee, or maybe uh, um, see um, um, Jillian Robinson fight um, uh, one thing of uh, um, um, uh, Val not uh, Anna Tanina. You know, see how they do against other girls outside of the tough house. Boy, don't know what's happening with Coach Boy, but no, but there's but there's there's so there's so much to do though. When you know that okay, everyone wants to talk shit about Pr Priscilla Cachoeira, but she's an option. Molly McCann is around. Um, Ariane Lipsky just came into the flyweight division. Pollyanna's just said that she's coming up. Um, like Nadia Kassam's coming up from strawweight as well. There's so many girls in the flyweight division now who are potentially opponents for all of these tough girls. There's plenty for them to do. Plenty of different levels of fighter whereby they can find their their position in the division. They don't need to fight. They don't need to fight. There's so it's much like that, that could potentially happen. Like the old saying, now, who, was the girl, who was the girl that just beat Jillian Robertson? I forgot. 
Africa. Oh man. She's oh, Brazilian. Man. Was it Brazilian? Was it no that oh Brazilian chick? Was that same fat person one of the Marcos? Can y'all move away from the computer? Was it Pollyanna Viana? Was it? I, I don't remember. Uh, no, it was this girl who made her. She made her debut in the UFC. That was a, doing the Brazil um uh thing, right? Right. Yeah, it was in Brazil. He looks. Mora, 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 something like that. No, no, no. Oh, I was Myra Bueno Silva. Yeah, Myra Bueno Silva. Yep. Now she's she's good. She's really good. I like her. She's good. She looked good yes. against Jillian Robinson. Jillian Robinson is a sneaky fighter, very sneaky fighter. You know, I'm, I'm just 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 as a whole, as a whole, I like the flyweight division. I really do. It's I like the flyweight division. I like the girls mm -hmm. that are dropping down from one thirty five, coming up from one from one fifteen. You know, I I I I like this division. This division is making me feel like five years ago, bantamweight division used to. You know what I'm but, saying? With the cats and the Misha's and the Rondas and the, you know what I'm saying? All of those girls. This division is making me feel like I felt it with that when that division first came around. So I'm mm -hmm. excited to see all of these flyweight. I'm I'm watching every flyweight fight, right. every you, last one of them. Do you feel that they're ever going to start the strong? The, the, I mean, the Adam weight division. Or they just that just something that's not they're gonna get no, I think the I think the Adam Weight division will turn out to be like another men's flyweight division. Mm. One that nobody really cares about, you know. But you still got like fighters like um, you know, uh Michelle Waterson, Teacher Torres, you know, it's most definitely um Carly Espaza. They're small fighters. They I think, you know, someone like, you know, Genu Kim Genu Frey and Mina Gunnison, a couple other girls that you know could come up there, you know, I think that could really help that division. And that, that, actually, that actually, Ashley Yoder um, said that she would be interested in fighting at Adam Weight if they ever opened up that division. And I'd be interested. Ashley Yoder would be a beast at 105. Mm -hmm. So that would be interesting to see Ashley Yoder big ass fighting at 105. I don't know. She she she, she counts me. You know she 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 she's sick with straw. She you know she, I don't think she's big enough for fly, and she's too big for um one hundred five. That that weight could probably kill her. I think she's walking around maybe one thirty maybe one thirty one twenty five walking around. You got to drop a whole twenty pounds. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you're right. Right about. That. Mm. Fellas, listen. I gotta run, man. It's been a pleasure getting on this mobcast with y'all. I appreciate the talk. Y'all know I'm gonna talk shit when I get on, so it is what it is. But uh, shout yeah. out to you, George. Shout out to you, Stamina. We don't know where to coach at, but coach, shout out to you. Everybody watching the mobcast. Appreciate it. And right. I will holler at y'all right. later, man. All righty, brother. Yeah. Right. Dream, right, big. Dream big. Dream <laughs> big. <laughs> <laughs> All right, coach, man. Okay, man. Okay. Yeah. yeah, man. Yep. All right, man. Well, shoot, man. It's about that time to go and wrap it on up, y'all. It's about that time. Wrap it up, wrap it up, wrap it up. Who we still got in the building? Let me see what's going it's on. Me and George. Yeah. Oh, dog. Everybody. Me and George, I think, I think, I think, uh, she just got fed up with, um, because something wrong, with, I think it was BJ. His, his, uh, his mic was just, you know, vibrating too much. And, you know, anytime we didn't mute, it, it was, it sounded a little better. She got fed up with it and left. Uh -huh. I think about it too. Oh, okay. Why well, right, y'all? We'll shoot, man. Real quick closing thoughts, man. Are we, are we, are we <laughs> to my brother from the UK, you go first. Um, My only closing thoughts are my continued confusion and frustration with the ranking system. Because now, as of this week, They've now put GDR as joint first place what? contender in the bantamweight division. Her and Holly what? are a joint one. What Who's does that the... mean? I don't oh. understand. That's, oh my! What kind of garbage is that? That's I mean, what I'm you, saying. I, you know, like you know, I tell you, I was a bodybuilder. I'm a big bodybuilding fan. And a few years ago, when they still had, um, when you, the IFBB still had female bodybuilding. 
the uh, year when they started to create a weight class for Miss Olympia, the first year in 2000, they had a co-Miss Olympia, the lightweight champion and the heavyweight champion. And that never made sense to me. The idea when you go up against heavy head against a competitor, you choose one champion. You can't share the crown. Mm. It don't make sense what the, what the, what the UFC is doing. That is pure shit. GDR anything should be, if not four or five. Okay. And with that, man, we finna cut out. Hey, man, right. thank you, everybody, for coming in. Thank y'all for joining us on the panel. Guys, we're going to smoke y'all out next week to smoke to come get this work mobcast. Man, thank you, guys. Enjoy, and have a happy Thursday night. All right. All right. Later, gentlemen. Peace.